For five weeks, the anticipation has been building. We have an awesome day of Overwatch. It is playoff time. Let's go. And go in. The Titans will 4 0 Soul and make it to the finals. They've done it. The Shock. They win clean 4 0 over the Philadelphia Fusion. One good bomb deserves another. I think that the Titans have got to be worried. Total and utter domination. The death ball that is the Vancouver Titans roster. And it really didn't even look like much of a challenge for Vancouver. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. I hope you guys are ready. What's up, Overwatch fans? We've got an epic Sunday lineup for you here in the Boys Arena. It's the 2019 Overwatch League season, and we're coming at you live from Los Angeles for the Stage 1 Finals. Welcome to the desk. I'm your host, Chris Puckett, and I am joined by our expert analysts. You know them, you love them. Give it up. We got Zoe, we've got Brent, we've got Sideshow, and this is already our first Stage Finals with some fresh faces playing on this main stage. Yeah, I was so thrilled to see that we had so many of our expansion teams making it to the stage one playoffs and you know what we're also already a quarter through our season i can't believe how quickly this actually went by it's been unbelievable and also very unpredictable so far nobody thought that this would be the stage one finals match that we would get to here who knows how the rest of the league is going to go that's right we're live again on abc today so we want to give a big warm welcome to all the new viewers who might be joining us for the first time thanks so much for being here and if you're not familiar with overwatch don't worry i got you covered here's a quick breakdown of what you need to know today overwatch is a six on six game where two teams match up against one another on different maps now each map has its own specific objectives but the first team to win four of those maps is going to take our stage title today our regular season is broken down into four stages, and at the end of each stage, we play an eight-team tournament with the winner walking away with $200,000. Our entire season, though, culminates in the playoffs in September with our best teams battling it out, leading up to the grand finals, where eventually we'll crown the 2019 season champion. Here's a look at the bracket so far here for stage one. And Bren, already some major shakeups. Absolutely, Pucket. New York Excelsior, the number two seed going out to Seoul, really meant that things were shooken up a little bit. Reseeded into the quarterfinals here. And then in the semis, you see that Vancouver beat Seoul 4 0. San Francisco Shock beat the Philadelphia Fusion 4 0, setting us up for the finals that we're seeing here today. And in that grand finals, we have the two teams who have not lost a single map here in the playoffs. But so we got to start with this Vancouver Light. This Vancouver, <laughs> try that again. Vancouver Titans <laughs> lineup. These guys have looked so good, and they're an expansion team, but they definitely have a championship pedigree. They do. This team already did win a championship in Korea when they played in Contenders Korea, which is one of our minor leagues a year ago. And they're a very experienced group that has played together for quite some time now. I think the core has been together since 2016. That is why they sport some of the best teamwork in this league by far. Their coordination, the communication, the cohesion is actually unmatched. And so it comes as no surprise that they are, in fact, the only undefeated team left in the league right now. It would be a huge upset, honestly, if they lost today because they have just been crushing opponents since they entered this league. Very unexpected, but they've just been led by star talent all the way through. Yeah, I think uh, one of the standout players has Ooh. to be Bumper. This entertaining squad is being led by Bumper. Oh. Looking at his statistics, this is league-wide, ladies and gentlemen. He's first in every single metric. That's unreal, you know, isn't it? just casually coming into this league and first stage already leading the yeah. charge. He's Operating. definitely the biggest Reinhardt on the planet right now. <laughs> but Zoe, let's talk about reviewing the film. Is there any weaknesses in the Titans game that maybe the shot could exploit? <laughs> this is this is wrong. Honestly, maybe they're too cocky, but not really because it's working out. It's really entertaining for us, and they're not losing games. So no, I don't think so. All right, now on the other side for the San Francisco Shock, we know this is the moment they've been building towards since last season, Bren. Yeah, yeah two rookie players in particular is what I've been paying attention to with this squad, and that's what it all revolves around. It's Super and Sinatra. These two guys, they were 17 when they were signed last year. They're now finally getting to play, and the team is has been working towards this one big moment. They finally uh, sort of settled on this consistent roster now, and they have been playing out of their bloody minds all season long, and especially in this stage, working towards the finals that we see here today. This is a big moment for them. They've got a lot to prove and a lot to show in the finals against the Vancouver Titans. 
San Francisco Shocker basically built around Sinatra. He does a huge amount of damage. Number one in the league right now. He also takes a lot of damage as well because he's so aggressive. Now that isn't normally punished. As you can see, his deaths aren't that much higher than So Min Su, who plays the Zarya for the Vancouver Titans. But in their last matchup, the last time these two teams faced off against each other, the game plan for the Titans was to shut down Sinatra. There he is at the top right hand side of your screen. He gets isolated, picked off and killed. There again in this next team fight, they find Sinatra half health, aggressively positioned and they remove him from the fight. This was the game plan from the Vancouver Titans last time. Shock will know that this didn't work out for them. They have to adjust their play style. But the question is, can they adjust it while still getting superstar performances out of their younger guy, their young superstar? It remains to be seen. We're gonna find out today, and I have to say, this may be the Pacific Division rivalry that we all should be looking yeah. towards as this season goes on. But let's get the official predictions here, and I wanna start with you, Zoe. Who takes our stage one title today? I actually think this is a hard one to predict. We have two hyper aggressive teams who will clash today. And this is a clash of more than just one Titan. <laughs> but thanks for laughing. <laughs> but um, I have to go with the numbers here. I, I'm not balls enough to actually bet against the Titans. I will go with the Vancouver. Going with Vancouver. What about you, Brent? For me personally, I've given the points out. I think that Sa the San Francisco Shocker, a team that's built around these superstars, these young rookies coming in, and I feel like that they are going to be taking this match today yeah! against the Vancouver Titans. I feel like they have a very solid chance despite their previous loss against this team. I am very much looking forward to it. I think this is going to be an insane match. Guys. Brent's going for the shock, so that means, Josh, you are our tiebreaker today. Where is the analyst desk going? I don't want to throw any shade at my fellow expert, Brent, but I think you've got to be a fool to bet against the only undefeated team in the league right now. The Vancouver Titans just look head and shoulders above everybody else. They've already won this matchup once before. I think they're going to come in and blast the San Francisco shot. We're all cheering for an upset here in the arena, right, Shock fans? Let's find out if they can get it. They're going up against the best team in the world, the Vancouver Titans, to kick off our games today. We got to send it up to our casters. We got the great ones. It's Uber and Mr. X. There is a special spot in the book of esports history for champions here in the Overwatch League. The stage finalists, of course, oh, yeah. vying for that honor and, of course, a huge bonus that comes their way. And this time, it will be a new name in that book, regardless of who takes things out today. Yeah, and I think this is going to be a very close match. You know, the desk, they kind of you know side with Vancouver. I, I kind of edge towards, you know, maybe the Shock have a better chance than people expect. They had the third toughest schedule in stage one of the Overwatch League. So a very tough road to get here. And they seem to be peaking at the right time. They have a lineup that they've decided on about halfway through the stage that they've committed to. They've looked really good since then. There may not be a better time than now for the San Francisco Shock. The question is, are they hungry enough? It's time to bring out your heroes from the Golden State, the San Francisco Shock. Every time I hear this team discussed on our desk or from pundits out in the community, it is all about these guys being young, being hungry, being very talented. Yeah, I mean, I know they were building for the future last year. The future came pretty quick with the stage one final appearance this year. And I know you build around Super and Sinatra, two very talented players. Super playing the main tank role. Sinatra, usually a damage dealer, but playing Zarya an off tank in this meta. I think, though, Violet has been the big difference maker coming in, you know, after a few games during this stage. A really fantastic Zenyatta play. He's lost to it four and three in the regular season. So far in the playoffs of stage one, they've been spotless. They kept yep. a clean sheet, but they will be going up against the Kings in the north, the Vancouver Titans. The numbers don't lie. Seven and zero in the regular stage. Two and zero right now. That is a nine win streak. Not many teams have been able to put a scratch on these guys. And yes, they in their last match against the San Francisco Shock a few weeks ago, they did lose a map. They but it looked like they were kind of taking it easy on that fourth map of the series. Yeah, I mean, they really haven't had any tough games that really go down. I mean, they have a few that go down to the wire, but none that make you look at their them scales and like think they're, they're going to lose some of these matches. Uh, Bumper, the aggressive main tank in the middle, you're going to see him do crazy plays all day long. So Min Su, I think, you know, him and Sinatra, you kind of toss a coin. 
for best Zari in the league right now, and our Slime on the Lucio roll. Look for him to just be going all, all other types of places, right? Using the wall riding mechanics of Lucio to get up above teams, boop them out of position, for some plays. The only reason a player like Bumper can be as aggressive as he is and still do so gainfully is the fact that the rest of his team are making sure that he is well within yeah. his margins. They are keeping him healed up a lot with a lot of support, attention being focused on him. And, and here, if Bumper does get the first kill in a team fight, there's a 93% chance that the Vancouver Titans will win that team fight. Well, that's why they dedicate so many resources to Bumper. You see a lot when he goes in, you're going to see all the healers just kind of group around him, right? You get you know, the Lucio right there, the Brigitte providing the armor packs, boosting him back right up to almost near full HP after he takes some damage, the Zarya bubbles. All the support for Vancouver going to be going on a Bumper in that main tank role for the Shock. Look for that man, Sinatra. He's going to get a ton of resources dedicated his way. He plays a little bit riskier than some of the other Zarya players who loves to take damage. With Zarya, you take damage, you turn it into damage on your own end. He's able to lead the league in damage here in Stage 1. And here now is your map set presented by Toyota. It all starts on Nepal. Now remember, this is a first to four series. Yes. There can be draws on some of these maps. We go until one of these teams has four maps under their belt. We head to Nepal first to a control type map to start the series. Yeah, the loser of this map would pick the second map. So if you lose the map, you get to pick the next one. The game modes so are consistent with how our series have gone throughout stage one. Control uh, just fighting over a, just a standard point on the map. There's going to be a control point that opens up. You gain percentage. First to 100% wins. You see the Shock undefeated on Nepal in Stage 1. Now, there were three battlegrounds inside Nepal, broken down into three rounds. So, for example, if both the Vancouver Titans and the San Francisco Shock get to 100% first on two rounds, it will go to a third. There will be a winner one way or another. It's time to get this started, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise as we head into our Stage 1 final. And uh, no surprise with the compositions that both teams are running. Three tanks in three supports is the meta right now. It's the way to play Overwatch. So you can see the Reinhardt here, a bumper, just trying to work his way onto the point. The Shock have the players there first. They want to play from the position of the point. Make Vancouver attack. This guy on your screen, the focus of his team. Bumper starting off the fight by posturing aggressively onto the point. Both these teams are going to be fighting for supremacy of this area. But the San Francisco Shock, they do a fair bit more damage earlier. The Titans have to back away for just a brief moment and get healed back up. Axile, shield bashes across the point, hoping to catch some of its supers low, and his shield was broken. The War of Attrition going in favor of the Vancouver Titans. That one kill, hugely important to them now. Sinatra's able to fire back and slam, but the Graviton Surge is being used by both teams. Both rosters held in place. Bumper goes for a charge. He connects. Sinatra hits the wall, and the Titans come out of a brutal fight on top. Now we're 10% on the board. Yeah, and it looks like the shock. They were on the point early. They were able to get some position. But when Super's Reinhardt shield gets broken, that's the go sign for the Vancouver Titans. As soon as Reinhardt doesn't have that shield, you push right in around it. You see Slime here getting the follow-up kill, chasing Rascal back to the spawn. That Reinhardt shield has 2,000 hit points, and you can see as it's starting to get broken or chipped away at by the other team. And a lot of those fights are decided by who can focus that shield down first. So now you have some of these ultimates coming online. You can see at the top of the screen, the check mark means they Hero has the ultimate ability. That'll be Rascal using his. That's going to be the rally to open things up. Self-destruct, though. Jano throws it in. It's dangerous. Sinatra couldn't get away from that one. He was knocked to the ground by Bumper's Earth Shatter. And one of the most important damage dealers on the side of the shock was removed from the fight before it began. There's no chance for San Francisco to come back. They have to regroup. And that's not a great fight for the San Francisco shock. They end up having two of their support ultimates being used with the rally to engage and then the sound barrier as well. And they get absolutely nothing for it. Now the Vancouver Titans, you see all three of their supports, the Brigida, Lucio, and Zenyatta have their support ultimates online. And all so of those ultimates require, involve healing yes. and keeping your teammates alive, which is what the Titans need now to get to that 100%. They're at 72 right now. Again, the teams will face up, but the Titans are the ones that will go aggressive and they push up straight away. Axel goes for the rally. The Titans are a little bit more durable for the time being. Super tried to ward the Titans off with an Earth Shatter, but it didn't connect. The Titans, really unperturbed at this point, still want to push forward. So Mitsu, the number under his targeting reticle, is the percentage of his charge, and he is charged up fully, ready to do a lot of damage. And the Graviton Surge is thrown in again, Bumper. Finds Rascal, puts him up against the wall. Now the Graviton Surge to the shock itself, the strike attempt. Drake Hoven finds Slime. Sinatra was so low, he had to back out. Super is beleaguered. 
set up on all sides. He has to back away from the point, but the shock have to have a player touch it during this overtime to keep that ticker going. Doherty 99 to zero now, but so Min is on cleanup duty. Joey Coben ejected from his mech. Finished off, no, he gets around the corner. But the Shock don't have the resources to fight this with six players now. They have to use what they have left and it's not enough. The Vancouver Titans take the point in the first fight and they do not give control over once in that round. That's a shutout. Yeah, and the, the big thing there is so and Sua and that Zari able to keep that energy up the entire game, that average energy for that first round of 76 percent that's massive you're able to put down so much damage he accounts for 30 percent of all the damage that vancouver had there in that first round if you can't eliminate the zarya the zarya will hold on to that charge and able to pump out all that damage nothing you could really do there if you're the shot matt it really seemed like the titans after winning that first fight were at an advantage for almost the entire stage after that yeah now, now as we move to the next uh, control point you see that big pit that's where you're going to see winston come into play here for both teams so reinhardt the main thing we just saw with the large shield and the hammer he goes away for the monkey with the tesla cannon as if winston provides so much better mobility you're able to see this jump here from bumper you're not going to be able to fall in that hole rather easily it allows that main tank player to be almost everywhere at once and respond to threats no matter where they may appear, he trades in the raw damage of Reinhardt for the ability to displace his foes during Primal Rage. But Bumper goes down early. Perhaps his aggressive tendency is now backfiring somewhat as this will leave the Shock free to begin capturing the points. Yeah, so the Shock, they push up, they get that elimination on a Bumper, they double back, now take the point. We'll see where they decide to hold. You know, you don't have like that big Reinhardt shield to hold one of these choke points, so they kind of want to let Vancouver come in a little bit. Then let their Winston jump onto some of these squishy targets in the back. Yeah, Super's looking for supports in the back line, but Violet's found one already across the map long range with Zenyatta. And that's huge. Just that one kill means the Titans have to pull out, but in doing so, they're going to get munched up by the shock, who will gain more ultimate percentage by doing this damage. And there you see Sinatra, his Zarya completely charged up, like we saw Soman Su in that first round. He's already got this Graviton Surge. That big Zarya ultimate decides a lot of team fights. It really is game changing, yeah. or at least fight winning in many cases. And he's well ahead of Sol Min Su in accruing that percentage. Just grabs everybody up, lumps them together, able to put down a ton of damage here. Oh, nice job. Sinatra gives Moth and Bubble a shield to get him out of trouble. But the Titans will now move to the point. They will, I guess, try and beg the Shock to try and fight them out in the open here. But they're a little bit split right now. And you can see across the face of the screen goes Super to chase after Bumper. That's the Graviton Surge now. Bumper's trying to go for the primal range, but it's not going to keep him alive. He's taken down by Choi Hoven. The self-destruct thrown in there by Choi Hoven to zone out the rest of the Titans from getting close enough to help their main tank. This is looking much better for the Shock. 63% to zero. Yeah, and the Shock getting aggressive. They want to chase some of these eliminations down. You allow Super to get back in the fight. See Vancouver, they have to play a little bit passive. Don't want to lose anybody here. So you did lose your main tank as the shock already up to 75% here. You're looking at like maybe one more team fight to decide this point potentially. The Titans aren't working with too much. They do have two support ultimates to use, Slime and Twilight. And they'll be necessary to keep the Titans durable as they are going to have to fight tooth and nail for control at this point. Bumper already takes a large amount of damage, as does Janu. So both tanks on the Titans already copying a bit of a beating. Slime now going to try and push in, displace people and knock them off the edge of the point. It doesn't work out though. And Bumper goes down. What an important pick from the San Francisco Shock. Twilight's got no choice but now to go for the Transcendence to keep what remains of his team vital, but it may not be enough. Another support ultimate. This time it's Slime trying to propel the Titans forward. But Haxal's fallen. The Titans fighting with four now. Those players will respawn and rejoin the fight, but it might be too late. Janu is taken down after he uses the self-destruct. And now we're in overtime. The Titans have to touch the point in some way or another, but Bumper's been forced back. Sinatra's caught in so much use Graviton Surge, but Violet keeps him alive. With one round a piece one, we will have a final round on Nepal to decide Map 1's victor. When you saw the Shock do there at the end really nicely is use the mobility of their Winston and Diva to just juggle the point. So you need somebody on there to contest it all times. Sometimes it would be Super and the Winston jumping down, putting down some damage. Then he would jump away, get healed up. Trayoban on Diva would just fly right in, hold the point. And it forces Vancouver in that position where you get into overtime to use some ultimates in ways they probably would not have liked to. And the, the fight just goes on for so long. Eventually the Shock gets advantage. So now we move into the final point here on Nepal. See, both teams go back to the Reinhardt. How huge is this map for the Shock to take away the first Look. map when they are hugely underdogs? Yeah, I mean, like, the, the Titans have not suffered many you know, first map defeats, right? The Shock undefeated on this map. 
So to win this map, get an advantage here for the Shark, put the Titans on the back foot. It'll be massive. Bumper gets a Discord all placed on him early on. That's Violet amplifying the rest of his team's damage against the main tank of the Titans. And that forces Bumper to back away very quickly. He took more damage than he would have liked to. He needs to regroup with his team. So early on, the Shock gain a strong position. Now they need to leverage this into a one-team fight. This is just like how the first point went, though, where the Shock had position on the point, and they lost their Reinhardt here early. Oh. So see if they can adjust. Super playing around the pole. He gets a bubble there from Sinatra, so goes up. Tries to get some damage. See Bumper low, he has to back up here. This is huge, a big momentum swing against the Titans. The Shock now control the point. They've stood on their unfettered for long enough to make it their own, and now the Titans have to think of another angle of attack. Yeah, now both teams gonna get these Zenyatta ultimates online at about the same time. So you see at the top of the screen, Twilight. He's got his check mark, you got that big Zenyatta ultimate to keep him alive. Oh, super! Oh no, oh. he's still down! Desperately, Violet was trying to keep his main tank up, but Bumper, he saw the blood in the water and he chased for it. Now the Shocker at a disadvantage, they're lacking one of their most key players and they need to maintain control of the point. So Sinatra digs deep, goes for the ground, Tom Sirk, Bumper though, what a heal! Fantastic by Huxel, repair pack, kept Bumper alive despite the Graviton, and this might hurt. Oh! Bumper! That is a massive earth shot to stop the Titans from following up and getting, getting damage done. The Shock still control this point, 38%. Looked like they might have lost it there, but Super just saved their bacon. And they, you know, they keep Sinatra alive through this. He uses a Graviton Surge. You see at the top of the screen, he's already at 80%, close to another one. And we usually see teams hold on to these ultimates a little bit longer, right? Like they'll use them. When Super dies, they use the Graviton Surge right away. Sinatra tosses that in there. They're able to extend that fight. Super comes back. It's a huge Earth Shatter to keep the point going there for the Shock. That's a huge first fight. That's just the first fight of this game. The Shock already up at 60% and counting. That Shatter completely stuffed the momentum of the Titans. Now they have to start from square one, try and eke out some other advantage because the Shock have so many ultimate abilities to work with now. Sinatra's waiting on the Graviton Surge, the one that could just end this fight straight up, but he needs to stay alive. He takes a lot of damage early, now pushes in. He sees the self destruct, but Rascal and Super are still taken down. Kokoven tries to reciprocate, but his bomb is not as effective. With only four players remaining, the Shock have no business being on this point anymore. They pack their things up and head back to spawn. This is a big combo set up there from the Vancouver Titans. The Zarya Graviton Surge. Janu uses his D.Va self-destruct to launch that big bomb in there. Picks up two. So now Vancouver has control of the point, starting from 0%. It's a big mountain to climb here. The Shock, they win one fight, they're looking pretty good. Vancouver will need to win three, if not more, fights and stay in control of this point to steal this round away. The Shock are so close. One more fight would essentially give them the win on this map if they can win it. They're, trying to, build, the they're trying to build some ultimates here. That's what they're trying to do. Shatter, it's massive! That is huge! It's obviously Slime and Twilight all knocked to the ground. Slime did manage to get that uh, sound barrier off just in the nick of time, but the Shock is still looking to find some pickoffs here. Super's a little bit low, Bumper is knocked back. Now forward into the Shock's lineup, he goes down. Finally gonna go with the Transcendence late in the fight. The Shock are looking very good. The Titans are now down to half a squad, and they cannot contest. It will give the point back to the Shock. And now San Francisco, and, very close. And, and Janu out of position here. You see him fly up on Sinatra's screen. He's very low. No healers here for the Titans to get him all healed up. He's going to have to be the one that touches. Janu has to throw himself in there. The mech is destroyed, but he at least can still stay around and fight. He's not nearly as effective when he's not inside his mech, but it'll have to do. Super gets grabbed, so does Sinatra, but not enough damage for the Titans. The Graviton Surge now is fired back at the Titans. Well, the Transcendence keeps them alive. Both Reinhardts are down. Both teams at five players. Both missing their main tanks. Sinatra versus So Min Su. The 1v1 happening on the left side of your screen. He's looking for kills, playing so aggressively. Self-destructing Chuik Open. It forces the Titans away. He doesn't find the kill, though. Slime has gone down. Johnny's missing. So Min Su cannot get there in time. Map one. It's your boys, the underdogs. San Francisco start off this series with a statement. They remain undefeated there on Nepal for stage one. The self-destruct of Chayobin seals the deal there for the Shock as our underdog team steals map number one. What an important way to begin this series. On a high note, no one really expected San Francisco to start this well. Some people thought they might be able to win the series, but this is how it all begins. And we'll see you on the other side of these messages for map two. Coca-Cola is the official refreshment of the Overwatch League.
Welcome to Assist of the Week, presented by State Farm. The Houston Outlaws were just about to the end of Rialto when the Atlanta Reigns dogman kept his entire team alive almost single-handedly through ults from Sombra, Reinhardt, Zarya, and Zenyatta, then followed up with a perfectly timed bionic grenade to punish his enemies and keep his entire team alive for the fight. Welcome back, everyone. The Shock are up 1-0 after the first map, and I actually had the chance to talk to their head coach, Krusty, and he told me that one of the biggest problems for the team is choking in overtime. He knows that Vancouver has more experience because of their time as runaways, but the Shock aren't nervous and think they can win. They took the first map, so let's see if they could keep this momentum going. Shock fans, are you guys ready? Yeah! Casters, back to you guys. Thank you very much, Danny. Good to hear a little bit yeah. from Krusty over the break. The San Francisco Shock in our inaugural season were a team that invested heavily in the future. Their initial showing wasn't that impressive, actually. In fact, they never played in a stage playoff yeah. last year. This year, though, those investments have matured, as have the players that they picked up, and now they stand I mean, yeah. in a position I mean, here to take a state. It's home. quite interesting that their superstar player, Sinatra, right? We were hyping him up all last year, and then he debuts, and then the hype just kind of, like, died down a little bit. And everyone, like, didn't really talk about him as this young superstar coming up. And then coming into this season, he's, like, played unbelievable in that Zarya role. A hero he feels really comfortable on, usually in the damage dealer role. But he's a big difference there in map number one, putting up about you know, 16,000 damage, which is massive. It is extremely large. We, we have seen over the course of longer maps uh, that number completely blow out to even greater heights. Numbani is going to be our second map of this series, a hybrid map, which is going to be fun because we get to explore a couple more of the interactions between some of these key plays and key roles. Bumper specifically was definitely targeted by the shock in that previous map. Yeah, and this is Vancouver's pick. So because Vancouver lost Nepal, they're able to pick this map. They decide out of the hybrid maps available in stage one to go with Numbani. And Nubani, you know, it does offer the ability to play a little bit more Winston. You know, uh, you can get up on the high ground, use some of that mobility, especially when you're by that first capture point to unlock the payload. And the way this map works is kind of a, a little bit different to what map one showed us, I suppose. The fact is, the attacking team, before they can start moving through this map, they need to capture that cart, the payload, and they capture it like they did in the previous map by standing on the point unfettered for another time. Once the payload is captured, they get their first point, and then they need to drive it through, essentially. Not yeah. manually, but they need to be close to the payload and keep it moving. And, and that's where the end goal line would be if they're able to get the payload all the way the distance. So it'll be the Vancouver Titans here starting off on defense. So they go with a Reinhardt on defense. Sometimes you may see Winston on defense on a map like this because you know, Winston more mobile, right? And if you don't have that mobility, you can come in with a lot of damage dealers. The Shock, though, they want to fight them Reinhardt on Reinhardt. Look at how quickly they claim this high ground, the Shock. More than just bluff and blunder as they move in and deal a lot of damage and up to ward the Titans off. But now you're on the high ground. You have a pretty pretty perch, you have pole position. What is the plan from here? Looks like Super wants to transition to the low ground first. Sinatra stays up on high. The Shock split up their team a little bit here and the Titans see this as a potential opportunity to try and get some damage done. They forge ahead, but disengage rapidly as they realize they've taken more damage than they thought they would. Big Earth Shatter, another one! The Titans! Three players knocked to the ground. They couldn't do a darn thing about it. And they're weak. They have to back up here. So they're giving up percentage on the point. The Shark getting very close to taking that first tick. They do. Haxal's forced to rally and try and come forward here. The Titans need to regain control in some way. Twilight goes with a transcendent tower. So it is fine. Both teams have a heck of a lot of extra healing in this moment. But how long will it last? Graviton surge to catch an archer up. And he gets burst out awfully fast. Sound barrier. Perfect timing from the Vancouver Titans to keep them durable. Violet's knocked to the ground. Now Bumper gets to swing for the fence. And the Titans have weathered the storm. Yeah, and when Sinatra dies there, not all that Zarya damage to go into that Graviton Surge. as a lot of ultimates used here from both teams at the beginning. The Shock deal, they do make some progress. You see point A at the top of your screen kind of split into three different parts. They do get to keep that progress from that first point. So they'll have to work from there, achieve two more ticks, as we say, to unlock point A. Chayobin with a self-destruct here, and then you're going to have Super with another Shatter. Already earned a second. He caught the Titans off guard with that previous Earth Shatter, stunning half of their team getting that one past Bumper's shield. It's Bumper's job to block these Earth Shatters. And now 
Keep an eye on Zaya. Late in the fight, she only gets stronger as her energy charges up. Late in the fight, but she really does the damage. Super's done again, again. Look at this aggressive play, but it might have worked against him this time. Joe tries to drop in a self-destruct, but Super had already been felled. And now, without their leader from the front, the shock must abscond once more. Yeah, I mean, you use your Earth Shatter. The Vancouver Titans do invest a support ultimate, though, to keep players alive. So Twilight does use his Transcendence. As you can see at the top of your screen, Violet getting very close to his own at 93%. You'll have Transcendence and Rally here to open things up for the San Francisco Shocks. So that Brigitte ultimate to provide the armor. The Zenyatta one to keep everybody topped up after. We'll see if they use, they usually use the Rally of Rascal to engage. So you'll use that to start a fight, and then later you're going to want to use that Transcendent. So we'll know when the, the shock can take they go. Because they use that rally, you hear it right now. Bumper being pushed back, trying to keep the shield up for as long as he possibly can, but it's been broken down. Only about 600 health on it. He's not to the low ground here. The rest of the Titans have to join him. They cannot stay up there and face the full fury of the San Francisco shock. Bumper playing back very passively here, which is uncharacteristic, but he needs to keep his team shielded up. So Min Su is playing close to the Super Spot on him now. Now it's going to be the Transcendence for Violet to protect against the Graviton Surge. Bumper tried to find a kill there. He charged into the grab, but he couldn't finish any of the Shock's players. self destruct by Johnny. That was a defensive use of Divas Bob, but there's the trade. Super goes down, but they find Twilight. It doesn't matter though, it's not enough. After the fact, Choikhoven tries to use a self destruct to find some extra kills, but he falls flat once more. The Shock have one more chance, if that, to and, capture this point. And when the Titans kill Super, they know there's no shield there to block the shatter that comes down from Bumper. And it's a huge Earth Shatter laid down by the Titans. Reinhardt connects with three players there, and they're able to just wipe them all up, as the Shock may not have a chance to even get back in touch. We're with no old three right seconds. Now. They have to do it on overtime, but someone has to touch the point before then. It's Super. He's the one that steps up to the plate and starts off the fight. It was Bumper to take a lot of damage, but Twilight brings the Transcendence into play. A lot of healing. Slime. Forced back and knocked down by the Earth Shadow, but Super couldn't get to him. Huxile intercepted the main tank from the Shock. Now Trichoven has to play the Wrecking Ball to try and keep some body on the point and stall things out, but it won't do. It just won't be enough. And even Violet attempting the Transcendence to speed boost onto the point was blocked. And this is quite remarkable. The Shock have failed to capture the first point of Numbani, which means that Matt, for the Titans, this seems like easy street. Yeah, I mean, only 43%, a little bit more than 43% on the capture point there for the shot. So the Titans, they don't even need to unlock the payload and move it all the way the distance down on the map. They just need to better the shock in terms of percentage there on that first point. Which you would think is likely. The shock's attack was not great there. They had no ultimates towards the end. So there's nothing they could really do to swing that fight in their favor. But a few fights where Bumper hit some big Earth Shatters really swung it in the Titans' favor. This is the reward that the Titans reap for a very losing. staunch defense. <laughs> well, for losing, I guess, yeah. choosing Nabani, but more importantly, more recently, preventing the Shock from even capturing half of that point eight. This have to be an unreal defense here for the Shock. The nice on. defense after stage one is stage two. Yeah. And it's going to be coming up Thursday, April 4th. We continue all the action right here at 4 p.m. PT. It's going to be great. I'm excited. But first, we have a chapter to finish here in stage one. So, this is the shock to set up on defense here. We can take a look from Haxal's POV playing the Brigitte that drops down uh, using that rally. Stunned up Rascal. Forced him away. Yeah. Pushed him all the way back, and then he doubles back. Able to just take out Super, and when you know the Brigitte is swinging the flail and putting down damage, also healing everybody around. So it's really important to have your Brigitte in the thick of things, putting down that you damage. Do gets converted into healing, yeah. essentially, and everyone gets a bit of a. You want to stay close to your Brigitte, but she is uh, gripped by that Battle Fury, just swinging the mace. It's a flail, I suppose, as a train on. Excuse me, medieval weapon uh, aficionados. <laughs> So all of the Shock playing very close to the doorway. You see, they know the Titans were going to initially attempt to take the high ground. They wanted to make sure they had no openings to do so. Now they drop down. Yeah. This will force the Titans to rotate to the high ground. Now the Shock have to be quick and meet them at the door once more. Otherwise, this has failed for them. So the pressure here is on the Shock. They got it. Super takes out Slime early. So you lose the ability to disengage here if you're the Vancouver Titans. You lose the Lucio speed boost you provide. So a lot of these heroes not able to make it out. Hold on to their lives. You see some cleanup kills going in favor of the Shock. Pressure on the Shock, though, because they can't they've really one fight besides this for the Titans. So you're going to have to see the Shock invest some of these ultimates rather early 
which allows the Titans to stockpile some of their ultimates. So you see the super already with that Earth Shatter online. You're getting close to a Transcendence on Violet. You're going to have to use some of these ultimates to secure fights, but that's going to allow the Titans to hold on to theirs when they get them and use them in one big fight to steamroll. How long will this patience from the Titans last? At what point will they just decide that it's time to throw down? Looks like, again, they, oh, they try and fake a rotation to the low ground. You can see them here. They realize the shock aren't biting, so they have to commit. They're going to push through the main entrance here, which is quite perilous with the shock all assembled on the high ground and in safe position to do damage. That's the Earth Shatter. Sobitsu knocked down. The follow-up is very good. The main damage source now for the Vancouver Titans is AWOL. And Slime is on the high ground trying to find the kill. He does get Violet. So the shock are made to bleed here. But they're not broken. Well, look, the scary part here for the Titans is like, you know, two minutes to go. Let's say you decide to invest some of these ultimates like the Transcendence. You have a few coming online. You have Graviton Surge. You have Earth Shatter. You have Rally. If you invest like two or three and the Shock are able to hold on and win that fight, you're staring down the barrel the same thing that happened to the Shock. You're looking at like 35 seconds with nothing. Titans now are known for being so aggressive right now. All they've got is Bark. The Bites lacking. Haxal was knocked to the low ground early on, but he's very durable whilst he's using that rally, so the Titans didn't scramble to try and surround and protect him. Johnny though, very low as he moves to the high ground here. That's a Graviton Surge used. Sinatra can only look on in dismay. But the Transcend at the time, it was very good from Violet. The Shock had the healing that they needed in that moment, and now the self-destruct from Choke open. He doesn't fight anyone. In fact, Janu was the one to get Sinatra. Now San Francisco are losing their biggest damage dealer, and they've been moved off the point. It's a couple seconds. The Titans are so close to finishing this back off. Choke open is moved. Moth needs to stay on the point but he's gonna be shafted away from it rascal now has to step up but it's just the dregs of the shock desperately trying to cling to hope here and it's not gonna do the job map two is vancouver's and yeah, you have those ultimates they force one big team fight and it goes in their favor as the titans able to tie it up here not a not a moat of sweat on any of these players right now looking very comfortable but there's many more maps potentially to come. The Titans, though, not used to losing maps in their series here. Neither team had lost one in these playoffs yet. So now is when we get serious. These teams are getting a measure for one another. Remember, it is first to four. We're going to have a hard time break to break things down. We'll be back on the other side. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7 and by Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. They don't just play for a team. They play for every fan, every rival, every moment, every match. And when everyone watching expects the best, they perform with the best.
The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile. High ground or low ground, T-Mobile has you covered. And by State Farm. Whatever life brings your way, State Farm is here to help life go right. We got a party up in Canada. Here's a look at the watch party going down right now in Vancouver. They got to be happy after this last one because after that victory on Numbani, Vancouver Titans are tied up 1-1 with the Shock. Welcome back into the Blizz Arena. Make some noise, fans. We are here. It is the final day of stage one. And we have a great series on our hands. Both teams were coming into the day without dropping a single map in the playoffs. Now we got one apiece. And Josh, it all started out with a upset here of the Shock coming out swinging. It definitely did, and it looked so good for the San Francisco Shock at the beginning. They, it was very back and forth, and we thought, this is probably how the rest of the series is gonna go. Insanely close games, maybe Shock even gets the edge, and then they just got slapped on the second map. They got destroyed. What was happening there? I don't know what was going down, but first we gotta talk about how the Shock got that victory, and I know you got something special for us. What do you have? I certainly do. I've got an Insights powered by Intel where I'm going to walk you through what Super has been doing for the main tank for the San Francisco Shock. So here's a team fight that happened on the pole. You can see it's fairly early on. They've only accrued 27% and it, the Sominsu has his grab. Sinatra doesn't have anything. Vancouver should be able to win. But Super's Earth Shatter is going to come in clutch here. You can see as the team moves forward, they're able to catch everybody in this Graviton surge. Vancouver Titans have got the players locked up. They can't move. They're just stuck there. But Super's about to hit a huge Earth Shatter that travels up these stairs and paralyzes the whole of the, all of the players that are trying to do damage into this grab. These players are knocked on the floor. They can't do a thing. And that one play turns this entire fight around. And it means that a fight that should have gone the way of the Vancouver Titans is just ripped out of their hands by Super's individual performance. And something we were trying to look at a lot in this game is how these two Reinhardt's match up. You saw the statistics at the open of the show. Bumper is leading on basically everything, but Super's doing a great job at coming back into this game and delivering excellent performances with his ultimate abilities. The 18-year-old is popping off. We also highlighted Sinatra, the Zarya player for the Shock before this game. So you mentioned it backstage. Sinatra, he died three times in that first heat. What happened yeah. the rest of that game one? Well, I mean, he literally only died three times in the first round, and then afterwards he was untouched. Same for Moth. Moth literally just didn't die. He was a very slippery Lucio. And because Sinatra hasn't been dying, that meant that there was a lot more damage output for the San Francisco Shock. We talked about what the Zarya can do when she's fully charged, which means she is doing more damage. And if you're not dying, you're not losing any of that charge. And that meant that he was able to dish out a lot of damage for his team. Stay alive, get that super beam, melt to everybody. That's what he did in the first map. But that didn't really carry over in. <laughs> to Numbani, what and went wrong for the shock? Here's the thing, like, he, Super, which uh, you just talked about, he was still landing those big stuns. We have still a lot of big earth shatters coming from him. However, his team was unfortunately not able to convert that into kills. And the reason for that was that Vancouver Titans had just an insane amount of peel. And that means that the rest of the team was able to mitigate the incoming damage, not letting the teammates die to those stuns. When you hit an earth shatter, like, the, you, you're rendering the team basically incapable of doing anything. And usually that means that your team is able to pick those people on the floor up. <laughs> that was not the case here. Despite him landing 10 stuns, he stunned 10 people, they only got one single kill out of that. Yeah. And that is not very much. A huge turnaround for the Vancouver Titans. And that in-game adjustment is what they're so good at. This is a very intelligent team. They know exactly how to adjust mid-game. And they just turned it all the way around. And they're going to be trying to do that in the second half as well. Definitely. You saw Bumper getting a little bit more support for Vancouver. Super definitely targeted down the Diva. Great shout out to Janu, keeping him away from the rest of the team in two of those shatters. But it's not just the tanks doing work for Vancouver in that second map. We got to highlight a healer who's dishing out some serious damage. What's Twilight doing in this game? Yeah, Twilight's a bit of a hidden talent for the Vancouver Titans. He's one of the best players in the entire league. A fairly unknown coming into this. Nobody thought that he would be able to go up there with the likes of Jonag from the NYXL. But Twilight's been absolutely destroying people, outputting huge amounts of damage and supporting his team to an excellent degree. This guy is probably the best flex support player, the best healer that also does damage in the entire league right now. 
right now. And that would have sounded like blasphemy a couple of <laughs> weeks ago because uh, we just did not expect him to be having this kind of performance. Only three deaths as well. Uh, he's playing a lights out game so far. He's playing fantastic. Definitely in the MVP race for our stage one. But let's talk about what's coming up next. Yes, we're two maps in, but you need four maps to take the stage one title. The Shock, they get the map pick. So going into game number three, where would you like to see the Shock head next? See, the, the issue with those two teams is that both their play style is very aggressive, and that means they will most likely be favoring kind of the same maps. So I honestly think it doesn't matter too much which one they will actually end up picking because they should kind of feel comfortable, you know, the same amount of comfort on both maps. However, if we're looking at uh, the past, uh, Volskaya has not been looking too great for the shock. So I was just going to assume that they uh, will be avoiding yeah, that Yeah, just one. by the numbers, the coaches would yeah. think maybe it's Volskaya. Do you think that's where we're going to see the shock avoid? Do you think we're going Horizon or Anubis here? I would say probably Anubis. And the reason for that is they have game tape from yesterday with the Titans playing on Anubis. Very true. Yeah. And Anubis saw some weird compositions. They're counting they on Bumper on that Hanzo. That's what shock <laughs> is doing right now. Yeah, maybe we won't see that again. I think they're giving a little more credit to the shock here. Titans are going to take this game incredibly seriously, but they do have that advantage. They can go back and look at that game and see what was working for them. Now you go, oh, going in the fun tunnel again. All right. <laughs> now, before the match, you guys both picked Vancouver, but it was the Shock on the board first. Is there any hope for the Shock fans right now? There's a lot of them out here. There's a huge amount of hope oh, for the San Francisco Shock. You saw that on map one. But in my opinion, I don't know about you, it's either going to be a close win for the Shock or a fairly dominant win for the Titans. What he said. There we go. <laughs> go there we go. Way. Blizzard Arena, let us know who's cheering for the Titans today. <laughs> Who wants to see the Shock take their first stage title? Okay. It's pretty one-sided here in California. That's going to do it for halftime. When we come back, we got a big game three. Don't go anywhere. This is the Overwatch League. The Overwatch League is brought to you by Toyota, official North American partner of the Overwatch League. Toyota, let's go places. Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. And by Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. 
We knew when our two scrappiest teams went head to head in a match, there would be a lot of blows and maps traded so far. That has held true. It's one apiece here in this stage one final between the San Francisco Shock and the Vancouver Titans, Matt. So a bunch of interesting stuff from the first two maps. Map two, Numbani did not look very close though. The Shock may be a little bit dejected after failing. Yeah. They had to really get much done. The end of the Shock after taking map number one, they go into the Vancouver Titans pick of Numbani on map number two. And it's a blowout in favor of Vancouver. We, we saw a, like 10% of the map. Yeah, that I was mean, how much was played. Yeah, it was a very, very quick map there on Numbani. It'll be the Shock's pick for the next map coming up. But both Diva players, I uh, know, in this series have been playing very strong. You know, Choi Obin on the side of the San Francisco Shock, and then Janu for the Vancouver Titans. And Diva has so many responsibilities. It's so difficult to play this hero at the highest level. Yeah, she really is the can opener, I guess, so she's expected to do so many things. Let's have a look at this comparison, then we'll flesh out a bit of what Diva is, is, is expected of Diva. I mean, look, you, you are, you're a tank, right? So you do have some damage taken. You're the damage blocked, you're able to use your ability of the defense matrix to just eat up incoming damage. It just cancels out projectiles. Yeah, it, it just eats everything up. No, damage goes nowhere. And then you know, Diva also deals a good amount of damage. So very mobile, can fly around, use the micro missiles to put down some damage to the uh, self-destruct. Big ultimate at the end, really good to combo with a lot of other ultimates. Uh, really a hero that you know, functions very strong on the offensive end and the defensive end. And you can play two very different play styles. And her ultimate ability is a big part of a lot of these combo setups that teams are trying to put together. Her mech self-destructs. Uh, and if anyone is caught within line of sight of that one, they will instantly be sent back <laughs> yeah. to spawn. They're dead straight away. So you see a lot of teams try and force opponents into positions where they can't run away from that explosion. You see it drop down all the time. You sort of hear the voice line and uh, sound like it's self-destructing. That's what these teams are trying to do to each other. So our next map is going to be the Temple of Anubis map, which shouldn't be a huge surprise if you caught the halftime break. You see that both teams have yeah. pretty strong records on this map. And in fact, the shock has not lost on Nubis. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna, if you're the Shock, you just saw the Titans play this the other day, so you have a good idea of the strategies they like to use. Anubis is a map that can snowball pretty quickly. It's when you can take point A, you can just kind of use all your ultimates, let's say, that you've saved to go take point B. So you see on your screen right there, that little courtyard will be point A. So it uh, works a little bit like how our first point went, our first map where you capture the point. This time there's two points to capture right. in a single map. There are no payloads here. Capture point A, then capture point B, and then your attacking round is finished. Your opponent will try and replicate this and we play until one team has no time left in their bank. Sometimes it only takes one run through, sometimes multiple. Yeah, so I mean, you do see like a, a game, for instance, can go and be like a 4-3 game, right? If you complete your offensive attack, then the other team does as well. You'll go on the offense yet again. This time to kick things off, though, it'll be the Vancouver Titans here on defense. They go with a Reinhardt-based version of the 3-3 three, three, triple tank, triple support. It's the Reinhardt will sit up on that mid-bridge. The Shock, they're going to push in here towards the left, use the Lucio speed boost. What are they? They're Ooh, trying they to double that. I like that. The Titans tried to do this to the Shock on Numbani earlier. Try and fake rotations and catch the Titans out of position. The Shock are able to rotate in such a manner that they now are perched above the point. They've gotten through two very perilous choke points that otherwise they would have probably taken a lot of damage even trying to get here. But now they begin to capture the point. Now the Titans have to play like their attackers. The roles have been switched. The Titans have to get the Shock off the point. Otherwise point A will be done for already. In that back corner, you can see Violet on that Zenyatta trying to do as much damage as he can. Bumper is forced to sheepishly back up with the rest of his team. The Shocker winning out on these early damage trades, and the big bodies, the durable figures on the Titans, have to be very careful. They're low on health currently, but so is Sinatra, and he's taken down. That might be now the floodgates opening up, and it is the transcendent out for Twilight as the Titans now shift into high gear. And now with Rascal and Super down, the uh. Titans had to wait for it, man, but they do get the Shock off the point, and they send them back to square one. Yeah, I know 88% there for the Shock, so it's a good first attack. The problem is, though, they use their Transcendence towards the end of that, potentially is that trying unnecessary? to keep... Yeah, potentially trying to keep Super up. And at that point, when you lose Sinatra, your big damage dealer, it's tough. And you use that Transcendence just to Super die, so you get no value out of it whatsoever. On the upside, the Titans also use their Transcendence prior to that, so it's a trade of ultimates. This guy's Graviton, so they won't be traded out once again. Super shatters the enemy team as they try and follow up on the Graviton. Perfect response, just as we saw on Nepal. Every time his team gets caught up, he sends the Shatter down. Now the Titans are on the back foot, being forced into the rear of the point here. You can see the sound are now for both sides to give them an overshield for a short time as the fight reaches fever pitch. Moth is the first casualty, and now the Titans make 
going for two. It's a 6v4 in players, and the Shock are running out of resources to propel them forward. They have to back away once more, and the Titans just keep getting stronger. The Titans, man, holding on yet again on D. See how aggressive Bumper's being, going right into the enemy spawn. They're going to pick up Super as well. There's Super no risk. trying to get out. Yeah, there's no risk in that scenario. There's, there's, a, there's a good, you know, 10 or so seconds that you need to re wait to respawn. So there was actually no one left from the shock. Now they were reappearing in their spawn area. So with, this, so with this much time left, what the shock could do is they could use that Brigitte ultimate of Rascal, the rally, to engage. Maybe that forces Hacksaw to use his rally. Then you see Soman Su chug out his Graviton Surge. Look at the Tabby answer by Transcendent. So here's the rallies from both sides. See Bumper and Super flying for positional supremacy, but Bumper might have one out here. Graviton Surge thrown in the shock, and they're all caught together. Violet tries to pop the train centers to keep his team alive, but it's too late. They've already lost Rascal and Sinatra. Now that ultimate for Violet has no value. The shock have to back away, Matt, and they're under one minute remaining to capture point A. This might be a repeat of what we saw on Numbani. And Sinatra has this Graviton Surge, but what do you have to combo with it? Uh, you don't have that self-destruct right now. It's going to be happening to keep Sinatra alive. And all that damage combined with Super to push through. Transcendence again for Twilight on the other side, though. Building up that Zen Yacht ultimate in less than a minute. He's going to need that Transcendence to the shock now. No, they have pretty much one more chance to take this point. 22 seconds remain in the round. Sinatra must connect with this Graviton Surge. It must be a gainful exchange of ultimate abilities. Getting a player advantage early in the fight would be big. The Shock taking their time, 10 seconds left. And they're just trying to bait him to just solo grab Bumper there on the point. To just use that ultimate only connect with that main tank. Look at the number below his aiming reticle. Sinatra's not charged up very much. He's not doing a lot of damage, but he does land the Graviton Surge. Twilight, though, simply uses his Transcendence to keep Sormitsu alive. The only player that was outside of him caught inside of that. Both teams with the Transcendence have choice. Oh! Just what the Shock needed to get themselves out of this sticky situation. Chuck Herbert sticks the landing. 10 out of 10 from the judges. And the San Francisco Shock keep themselves in this map. <laughs> Barely, though. As they, you know, they, they take point A. So now they have about four minutes here to take point B. And they're going right away. They're going to get an early pickoff here on a Twilight. That's huge. A player advantage so early on in the fight. The San Francisco Shock trying to convert the momentum they built up on point A. Looking good so far, Sinatra is well charged up. He'll have another Graviton Surge available quite soon. Bumper's in trouble, he's down. The Discord all applied by Violet made it hard for him to stay alive. And now Sinatra in a great position to receive Janu. The Defense Matrix doesn't mitigate Sinatra's damage at all. He can cut straight through the mech. Almost a full capture here for the Shock on point B. They got themselves out of the stickiest situation. Joy Hogan and Rath were knocked out, but the Transcendence being brought in the Shock. These two support ultimates at once, but it works! Gonna be over for the shock. They were looking dejected on point A, but Troy Hoban saved the day and kept the shock in. And now, Matt, yeah, we they finished the map with a decent amount of time left. I know they have three minutes and 16 seconds in their time bank. We highlighted the divas you know, coming into this map in Shayoban with that self-destruct. Man, this was huge. We can take another look at it. So launches the self-destruct up in the sky. And you see in the in the pilot diva form, takes out Janu. Janu uses his self-destruct there as well. So he's able to take him out before he can get back in his mech. Huge play there from Choi Obin. And you can see what diva looks like when she is in her mech. She's not very imposing. Choi Obin no. still leveraging her uh, somewhat reduced combat ability to get rid of his opposite number. That's huge. And towards the end there, you know, when the Titans are trying to come back on a point B and play that defense, they use the Earth Shadow there from Bumper, and it's a pretty big connection to you. Violet comes in with the Transcendence, keeps some players up. But Super, who's been hitting a lot of nice Earth Shatters, just not a lot of follow-up, hits a big one because he connects with Twilight. So Twilight on the Zenyatta, close to that Transcendence ultimate. He was at 95% gets hit by Super's Earth Shatter and they just run him over. Because of the four minute time extension the Shock gained from capturing point A, they had enough time to capture point B, but they didn't need to use much of it, so that gets stored away for the next round through. If the Titans themselves finish the map, then we compare the time banks and the teams will play once more with that remaining time. The Titans now would be pretty annoyed. They thought that they were home free on this map and the Shock have thrown a spanner in the works. Now, the Kings of the Jungle have to assert themselves. Uh, those overtime scenarios, like Danny, our insider, was telling us, you know, the shock, they lost a lot of these overtime scenarios early on in the season. 
playing a little bit frantic right there. It goes into that crazy overtime scenario. They come out on top, just that experience they gained throughout stage one. Super standing on the awning there is Reinhardt. He can't really be hit by the Titans until they push through this choke. It's a great opportunity for the Shock to get free, unanswerable damage. And when he uses it, when he puts the shield up, he can actually see the players coming through. So we can see around the corner. Janu a little bit low here. He's a little bit overextended. He gets back to the rest of his team just in time. Looks like the Shock went focusing him down as a primary target. Once again, Sinatra needs to keep an eye on that health bar. He went down early beforehand and it almost cost them everything. On the high ground, Tricobin is chased off. Sinatra gets bumpy though, that's massive. Yes, Somin Su is up there on the high ground in the back, but it doesn't matter, they've lost their Reinhardt. Now it's very hard for the Titans to advance without taking damage from long range, but Super has fallen, Slime dealt with him now, and the pressure's starting to get to the San Francisco Shock, it's falling apart at the seams. The Graviton Surge now used by Solomon Su to get the Stragglers and the Shock looked okay. Matt, they got a very important yeah. first pick, but it didn't seem to help them much as the fight continues. Well, you know, Summon Su behind enemy lines is just doing so much damage. He's able to de-mech Choyobin, so didn't have that big diva mech. And then he's all charged up and he's behind just launching those Zarya alternate fires. Just a big explosive grenade. And look at that. With that four minute extension, the Titans are up to six minutes and 20 seconds. So, some ultimates here though for the shock to use though. So it's not all doom and gloom for the shock. Six minutes on the clock for Vancouver. But you see right there, a big Graviton Surge connects with everybody. Transcendence being used here by Twilight to keep the Titans alive despite the weight of ultimates that are being leveraged against them. Bumper, I know what he's looking for. He wants a big Earth Shatter. He wants to flank and catch the Shock by surprise. He has it ready now. He's waiting for an opportunity to use it. The Shock are a little bit split. If they don't take refuge behind Super's shield, and if Super doesn't have his shield up, they're all going to be knocked down. But Super's missing now. The perfect time for the Titans to spring forth. Transcendence now with the big Earth Shatter. Bumper waiting for his moment. Johnny with that self-destruct there, but the Shock were able to pick themselves back up and avoid the blast. And now with a couple of players on the point, the Shock can keep this point contested. The Titans cannot accrue capture progress while there are Shock players present. And now they have to throw everything at this one. Super Earth Shatter into Graviton Surge. Sinatra's right there. There's a lot of damage coming from the Shock right now. And Bump has fallen once again. The main tank for the Titans missing once more. And the Titans will be pushed back without getting any capture progress. The Shock tenacious, refused to leave the point for even a moment. And I tell you what, Mitch, I mean, it's towards the end where you see Super use the Shatter and the grab comes through from Sinatra. But the play is made by Moth. Bumper actually connects the really nice Earth Shatter, but Moth actually using the wall riding Lucio goes off the pole, then uses the boop to displace him and just pushes him which way open over the side. So you're not able to get that big Reinhardt follow through. That's huge. The Getting big play. onto the low ground as Reinhardt is so frustrating because you are not mobile. Your only ability no that way gives for him to you, get back up. The only ability that gives you more mobility is a charge that you're committed to. And you can't defend yourself whilst charging. Reinhardt does not want to be pushed off his positioning. And now the Titans can take this one slow, trying to build them through. Super's the only one caught inside that Graviton Surge. Violet opts to be caught inside of it to give that Transcendence healing over to its main tank. So that's an adult from the Titans that doesn't really get any value whatsoever. They're still where they started. Four minutes and 20 on the clock. The, the shock are close to being in a position where they're ahead in time bank. Oh, there it is! It's a flanking shadow from Bumper! What a sneaky fella! He breaks line of sight and is able to get to the back line of the shot, but still no kills have resulted from that one. Rascal uses the rally though, and that's a bomb over the top. Can Choi save the day again? No kills from that one, but a Graviton Surge now to hold all of the Titans together. Super attempted nurse shadow, but Bumper's shield was kept high, and they defended against the shockwave. Tricobin is forced to back away on the right-hand side, but Super wins the Gladiator battle! He gets rid of Bumper, and now Huxel is quick to follow. In a 6v4 scenario now, the Titans are going to run out of gas in a few moments, and that will essentially put the shock level, if not ahead in time. Now the Titans keep taking this fight on the point over and over and over again, and they're letting Violet just sit in that back left corner on the Zenyatta, just lay down these discords, lay down the damage. So Zenyatta is his support hero, but he's really a damage dealer at his core, right? He's able to put down the discord, which amplifies the amount of damage that player takes when the Discord orbs over their head. And then just with his primary fire, just puts down so much damage. You cannot allow him to go uncontested in the back left corner. Yeah, his trade-offs is that he's very vulnerable. He does not have a large health pool. And his orbs take a lot of travel, so they're not easy to aim. Again, San Francisco truck trading some of that damage now. That is a big Graviton surge to the bomb behind. Oh, Super's knocked away, but still no one's affected by the blast. Super charges bumper straight back into the pillar, and he finds him again. Really starting to flex on bumper now. 
who talked a big game about being the most aggressive, the most powerful main tank in the Overwatch League. But right now, he is being taken to task. Look, I mean, I know if I had the Vancouver Titans schedule too, you could talk a pretty big game. Their opponent's win percentage throughout stage one is just 39%. They roll through stage one, but they have the second easiest schedule of everybody in the league. They didn't play every team in the league. Yes. They had seven matches in that regular stage. So it's just a slice of what is out there. But you expect Bumper to play you know, at his best in a match like this. He's got another Shatter here coming online. So we'll see another battle of these Reinhardts. Shatter v Shatter. Just around the corner here. He knows he's been spotted out, but he needs to wait for the rest of his team. And they don't need to peek out until they're ready to all run. They'll be taking unnecessary damage and allowing the shock to accrue further ultimates to use against the back. That's the shadow the bumper tries to go for it. Only Vraska was knocked down though. No, it's gonna be a sound barrier very quickly employed to the fight. Both teams go for it now. Both teams have an overshield for a short period of time, but this time it looks like it's worked better for the Titans. They follow it up with another support ultimate in the Transcendence. Dracovic tries to go for a self-destructive force people away and they get Zorbid Zoo. That might be what they're looking for here. The Titans have one third of the capture progress so far, but the Shocks still have players. They can still maintain presence here on the point. Violet, he's very vulnerable on the Zenyatta, but he's playing quite aggressively, briskly here, trying to find some damage and maybe even a kill. Bumper's low, he's down. Super has to trade out his life to take down the enemy main tank, but it might get them out of this sticky situation. Self-destruct is thrown in. Violet gets accosted by Slime, who comes out of nowhere. And now Slime's looking for more, trying to chase Sinatra away from the point. The Titans almost have two thirds of capture progress right now, and they've got it. So close to having B all tied up, they need to deal with the last few players of the shock and they'll be good. But Super's here, Tree Home has switched over the Wrecking Ball to help stall things out, but that Graviton surge from the shock did not connect. No one from the Titans was caught up in that one, and all they can do is try and make this more costly in terms of time for the Titans. There's nothing that's really gonna stop Vancouver here. Now, Matt, they get the map done, Vancouver do finish. But they have way less time in the bank. Oh, shot. I mean, it goes down to the wire there. Vancouver able to take point B with about 48 seconds. So we'll jump them up to a minute. We'll boost the Sharks' time up as well. So both teams will have an a chance to go on offense and defense yet again. Vancouver, though, on their offense will only have a minute. The Shock, when they're on offense, they'll have about three minutes and 28 seconds to work with. So a ton of time available for the Shock on their offensive side, Vancouver. It, it was so good, Mitch. So they, they able to take point A, and there's about six minutes for them to take point B. It's a tremendous hole there from the Shark. And again, none of it was easy. The Titans looked very close on a couple of occasions. Oh, and both of these Reinhardts just playing out of their minds. I mean, super there, uh, you know, 12 Earth Shatterer stuns. So when he uses ultimate, stuns 12 players. Bumper right behind him with 11. This time though, you did get the follow-up for the Shark. You, you turn 12 of those stuns into five kills. Whereas Bumper, you know, his 11 only turned into three. And again, that, that was situations like Moth able to use a sound barrier quickly, pick himself up after his team were knocked down by Bumper. Choi Hyobin able to you know, knock people out of position with Diva's uh, rocket boost. You can actually, again, displace individuals. So now both teams out of the gates once more. The compositions have not changed. It will be triple tank, triple support with Reinhardt for both teams at the four and the Titans. Whew, they have oh. one good fight, maybe two if they stretch it, but they have to go quick. They can't afford to dawdle. Shock gonna play it the same way again. Super though, out of position there. That's not good for the Shock at all. They need him alive and they lose Rascal as well. The Vancouver Titans, their eye is on the prize and on point A. Ooh. They've shoved the Shock off of it so much so that San Francisco cannot afford to try and contest this. They will allow the Titans to capture and hope that they can hold them off at point B. And when winning this first fight, you do get closer towards your ultimates for Vancouver. So you see, they'll go up to three points, 45 seconds here to attack point B. They get a 30 second extension. It's not a lot of time, but it's enough to get them to point B and give them an opportunity to capture it. Once again, now Shock needs to be extra careful not to overextend. Super though, wants to play a little bit aggressively and they get Twilight, what an important first pick. The, the Shock set themselves up on the high ground so they can pick and choose their target. They find one of the most important. And they want to take that fight early, get them to use some ultimates, also make it costly. You see Haxal use uses the rally, the rally try and keep players up. Summon Sue with this Graviton Surge. They just need to get somebody to get a touch here, though. Somebody's going to have to get on the point and force overtime. Fair warning, ladies and gentlemen, this will be a long fight. It will be drawn out. The Titans will be throwing everything now to see what can stick, because overtime has begun. 
down, he gets himself on the point here, but he's desuited straight away. He had to put his body on the line. Releases mechanical one to keep this one going. This might actually not be so long at all. Both teams go for the transcendent to Trick Hoven. The self-destruct to try and take the Titans down, but no one is blown up by that one. Super Earth Shatter doesn't quite work out. Papa gets a better one. Trick Hoven and Sinatra are knocked to the ground, but once again, there's no one there to follow up, and the Reinhardt stun. Axel is forced back. Sorbin Sue also knocking on the door, and Johnny's forced to switch to the Wrecking Ball now for the extra mobility and staying power. Johnny there with the shield. All of the Shock are forced back. The Titans are now starting to capture this point. They've got one third. The Shock have to go now. Super pushy forward. He got given a bubble from Sinatra to mitigate some of the damage. But Trick Hoven gets the Mech. A triple knock up in the backside there from Johnny, but he has to give up his life for it. Super goes down. They're doing what is it. happening? The Vancouver Titans have managed to come back in this fight. The Graviton Surge. They need to get kills from now on the shot. They need a so badly and Violet finds himself too. That may be enough now. Bumper trying to cut through Sinatra, but he's getting so much healing right now from Violet. He'll be able to push back in now as the sound barrier is applied to the San Francisco Shock and Huxel has a rally. A bit of extra healing for both teams now as this started to run. Both out of gas. Janu's taken down. There's a minefield up and Super brings the hammer down. The Shock are able to defend point B and took everything they had in reserve. But now they know what they need to do to win this map overall. Next will be their turn to go on the offense. Yeah, he did get no point A there for the Titans, and they make about 70% to taking point B. So this one's still not over. Still not one that favors the Shock now. As they go on the attack, you know, three minutes to 28. It's a good amount of time, but you, one or two of these pushes still out on point A, and they had a tough time taking point A in their first attack, and they're in a lot of trouble. It's entirely the realm of possibility that the Shock get waterlogged and get completely stumped. Three minutes and 28 seconds, well, I mean, if that's the amount of time, Matt, they had to attack the first time, they wouldn't have even gotten eight. Yeah. That was the reality of it. That was, they had a lot of trouble getting through the defense of the Vancouver Titans, and they have even less time than they did on their first attempt. You know, Moth, Violet, and Sinatra do a fantastic job just kind of like juggling the point, playing their life there at the end. They play a little bit too aggressive, and one of those players gets caught out. You probably see, you know, the number four at the top of your screen there. For Vancouver, so you take a look from Violet's POV. So you see that Discord orb there on the bumper, the 2K into that Graviton Surge. Somehow Sinatra lives through it. You can see he's all the way in the back there, and they use that transcendence to heal him up. And I'll see that the yellow elements on his on Violet's health bar were armor, which were given by Rascals. Rally! So an extra a bit of extra durability meant that Violet could play aggressively to try and clutch things for his team, and he, he did admirably. Now the shock needs to be as quick as the Titans were on their attack. Sinatra. Everyone going straight forward here. Super, they're trying to really challenge the Titans here. Can they match up to the Titans style though? Super takes a lot of damage early on, but Bumper's knocked off here. That's a very good start. Nicely done by Moth, who is skating above the pillars. This force of the Titans now all back to the point. They need to stay together, even if that means following Bumper onto the low ground. And this is the position that we saw Somin Su get into when Vancouver was on offense and do a ton of damage. You see Zarya when they're high charged up on the high ground. He drops down, now everybody clumped up. He can start launching in these right clicks. Oh, Sinatra got stunned up there. He has managed to be saved by his teammates, though. Barely. I don't think Sinatra wanted to drop down from the high ground. I think he wanted to stay up there and may have slipped off. The shock now. Have not found any kills early in this fight. They're looking for him now, though. Johnny with Twilight both oh, There shot, it is! Dude. That's what they were looking for. Bumper charging in vain. There was no way he was going to escape, but now for shock, the win condition is very clear. They'll get a short extension on their time, and then it'll be go, go, go for point B. And that's set up by another Super Earth Shatter. Connects with three players with that Shatter as well. Up to 15 enemies stunned, seven eliminations for the Shock off of those big Reinhardt ultimates. The that, Shock. If you're, if you're Vancouver here, you have a lot of ultimates to work with. Just not try and burn all of them here. Or lose Bumper early in the fight. But Bumper may have been out of position. He's oh, down. The comes late. That is huge. The Titans have used an ultimate to keep Bumper alive, but he wasn't there to benefit from it. It's a 5v5 now, but the Shock still have Super, their main tank. And they push on to the point and see what else they can get now. Forced to back up, I think it was the rally was used by Haxa. And they probably want to back out of this, the Shock. It's a really good engagement for them. So they end up using their Graviton Surge. They get Bumper. Bumper is now back off the respawn. But Haxal had to use Rally and Twilight used Transcendence. So now if you look at top of the Shock, you see all of these check marks coming online. Especially the two all the way on the left. You have that Sound Barrier and Transcendence to use. Moth and Violet. 
The ones to keep your eyes on right now, the shock. Feel like brawling a little bit more, but they're gonna have to use the transcendence now to save them from this graviton surge. The self-destruct from Johnny won't find anyone, and a salver is also used for the shock. They have to go, but bumpers put them to a stop. The Earth Shatter definitely slowed the slock down. And now they're stuck in that side room. They'll go for a Graviton Surge of their own, though, and Bumper desperately trying to keep that sealed up. It won't be enough. Super with two. So Kogan was desuited. Now the Shock have a Diva without the mech, but they may not need it. Sinatra's taking a lot of damage here, but he's still able to cut through. And now it's a forced transcendence for Twilight just to keep his team in this one. The Shock just have to capture 69% of this point. That is all. And they made a good start here, but they need to play it safe. Oh, Moth! That was so cheeky! The Lucio flew in the back line and vertically shot at Twilight to remove the Zenyatta here. And yet the Shock is still uncertain. They're still taking their time. Yeah, they, they have to wait. They're gonna get super back in the action here as now you have all six for both teams. Ready to get another fight. It's gonna be a Graviton Surge here used by Soma 2. There's gonna be Vilo with that Transcendence. Super's got down though. Up. The Shock and missing their main tank despite using the Transcendence to stay alive in the face of the Titans. Graviton Surge, they get the trade. Twilight's down, but then now they've lost Sinatra. The Shock are running out of damage dealers in this fight. Will what they have be enough? It doesn't look like it. Moth is caught in a minefield and is forced to back out. The Shock now have one more chance, one chance to capture B. And Johnny switched over to that Wrecking Ball to be able to stall out the point. There's a ton of self-sustaining. Goes right back to the spawn, switches things up, goes back to his D.Va. His only rally here in terms of support ultimates available for the Sock. Shock, it's gonna be a Graviton Surge for Sinatra. Needs to be a good one. Trayovan probably comes on the left-hand side here and gets that touch to force overtime. Two seconds remaining, Trekovan gets to the point. He has secured overtime, but Super took so much damage while he tried to approach across the bridge. There he goes now, Bumper trying to go for an Earth Shatter. It doesn't really find what he was looking for, though. Trekovan is must be. Oh! It's huge! That's what the shot needed again! Trekovan comes to the rescue! Johnny was desuited now. The shock is starting to capture the point. They go one third, 50% and counting. And they just need to get these last couple of players off for the Titans. Twilight is hammered. He goes down. Bumper now throws himself at the point. So when two comes in, the is the time to keep it going. But no, it's not meant to be. The shot take map three. An unlikely victory. And again, Joe Hewitt comes up with the goods. Perfect setup for that Diva Bomb explosion. The rest of the shot making sure that Troy Hoven would leave a bruise the next day. On oh, Super connects with a shatter during that, sets up those three kills. He has a huge match. 12 kills come off the back of those Earth Shatters. Three there at the end with that self-destruct from Chayobin. To seal the map in favor of the shot. It is starting to heat up here in the Blizzard Arena. You don't want to be missing this one. Map 4 is just around the corner. This is the Overwatch League. Coca-Cola is the official refreshment of the Overwatch League.
The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile. High ground or low ground, T-Mobile has you covered. And by State Farm. Whatever life brings your way, State Farm is here to help life go right. Welcome back, everyone. The Shock are up 2-1 coming into map four. I'm Mika Burton, and I had a chance to talk to Harsha from the Vancouver Titans at halftime. He told me the reason for their falter on Nepal were some pre-playoff nerves, but their heads are back in the game, and they're ready to fight. He told me that they have a few changes up their sleeves, but they will remain as aggressive as ever. And when I asked him if they will win the stage one title, he said, and I quote, for sure. So I'm loving that confidence. Things are a little rocky, but they can pull it back. But right now, back to you, Mitch and Matt. Thank you very much, Mika. Well, the crowd's starting to get a bit rowdy here, Matt, because the yeah. Californian team are starting to sneak that nose in the lead. I mean, I, I, do I look sweaty? Because I'm sweaty. It is, it is very warm in here. Also, that last map was giving us goosebumps. Oh, no. That was insane. Again, Shui Hyoben saves it for the San Francisco shot. Yeah, I mean, it's a really nice graviton surge to group everybody up. And then there's a lot of other things that go on there, but it's a very nicely placed self-destruct that allows the shock to take the map there, which really, I think that we haven't seen Vancouver push this far throughout the regular season is that we can take a look at that self-destruct yeah. yet again. But I mean, it, it, this is a crazy play. That Let's look in. for how the shock set it up because often a self-destruct on its own is not enough. That was just massive though. Super used Earth Shadow. I would yeah, say it was a shadow. So, Super uses Earth Shadow to make sure Bumper cannot protect his team from that self-destruct. Because really, you can just use a Reinhardt Shield to protect your team. It is essentially a fairly easy ultimate to avoid. But when you have two or more players helping to set up that combo or preventing the enemy Reinhardt from shielding his team, yep. then you will get moments like that. Well, the issue is, is that you need Reinhardt Shield to block the Shatter and the self-destruct. You can only probably do one. And if you don't block the self-destruct, everybody dies right away. You don't block the shatter, everybody gets knocked down to the ground, you don't have your shield, and then you can't block anything. But make so. no mistake, that was the Shock's last chance to do something that could turn the fight. And uh, it happened exactly when they needed it once again. Dorado will be our next map in this series, and we might actually get to see some payloads, because we didn't on Numbani, that's for sure. Yeah, now this uh, will be a traditional escort map, so there'll be a payload that starts at the beginning. You have to get it all the way to the end. Three checkpoints throughout the game, point A, B, and C. So uh, this is the Vancouver Titans pick. They did lose on Anubis, so they got to pick Dorado. Uh, we've seen them play a few times Dorado during the season, but usually when they would get to this point, you now being our last map in a traditional set, the series is already decided. So we haven't seen them play so many meaningful escort maps. That's right, although at least it hasn't looked like they've been taking it super seriously. So the payload works by the attacking team standing within close enough proximity to it. Three players standing in the payload will allow it to advance at its maximum speed, and that right there is that first checkpoint. On top of that sort of golden uh, sigil on the ground, this is the Lomerico power plant. The second checkpoint is right in front, and that's where the payload will need to get to. And finally, the heart of the power plant, this final cul-de-sac here, is the last checkpoint of the map and where teams will finish if they can get there. Now, that's not guaranteed. If the enemy team stands near the payload, they will contest it and prevent yeah. it from moving. So the Shock need to, again, have unfettered presence on the payload to advance it. Yeah, and that's what you're going to see Vancouver do here on defense. So you see the Shock get onto the payload, they get it rolling. Vancouver playing very close around this corner. See, they're gonna just go up, contest the... They're looking for any opportunity to drop down on a player that is out of position or not immediately looking like he'll be defended by the rest of their team. So this is fairly good for the Shock. We usually see a lot of teams take that early first fight at that first corner because they want to get two fights as it keeps going. You see the payload as it goes under this underpass. A ton of space being garnered here for the San Francisco Shock. If they win this fight, there's a good chance they can take point A right away. Vancouver Titans haven't really fought yet. That's Ooh. interesting, but there it is. That'll open the floodgates. Sure enough, Bumper, he sees an opportunity to glint in his eye. And you know we can start looking for a brace of kills. In a rare opportunity where Bumper is not the aggressor. You <laughs> see, usually he's the one who starts that fight. That time he lets Super come in, dictate the pace of the play, and then the Super goes a little bit too far, and they're able to pick him off. Usually that's like the critique of Bumper, that sometimes he goes in a little bit too deep out of the way. Can the Titans play more aggressively now after winning that fight? I mean, now you start to build up some ultimates. As you see at the top of the screen, Twilight's got his. Haxalt now with his online with those check marks glowing. So you're going to have almost all six getting online very close here for the Titans. And is that enough to give you the confidence to say, hey, now we can switch gears and start to play, you know, bully them a little bit more, play aggressively? Yeah, I mean, it makes things a little bit more costly for the Shock. If they're going to start trying to win some of these fights, they got to invest as well. Oh, the Twilight oh. there, the Discord Orb. 
Two nice headshots takes out Violet. It's not as easy as it looks, by the way. Those orbs have a distinct travel time, and people move fast in Overwatch. Shock here using the speed boost to get around the corner here. He's trying to play this from a different angle, not go through the initial choke. They're going to go to the stairs. Just trying to push out here. Both teams using rally. That means just trying to rumble. Super trying to come forward here. Bumble got out of position. He tries to go for the shadow, but only Trick Oven was caught in that one. Now the Graviton search to hold all of the shock together, but they went into the storm admirably. Janu's forced to use a self-destruct here to slow the shock down, and indeed it does. They don't push too far forward. Super's forced to protect the rest of his team and leave Rascal out to dry, as was Super. He was out of position though, as opposed to the rest of his team, but both teams have lost their Reinhardt here, Matt. Yeah, it seemed like Super wanted to continue brawling this out, and the rest of the shock went back towards the cart to start moving it. So, you know, they they play a little bit closer with Super there. They may be able to take that fight. Tommy the Sue extending a little bit forward, and we saw an attempt there from Rascal to stun this Zarya up and stop him in his tracks, but you need a lot more damage than that. Zarya is very durable. She's considered a tank. And I, I tell you what, though, as the series has gone on, if Super keeps hitting these shatters like that, now he connects with another three players there, as opposed to Bumper only connecting with one. You keep getting that many stuns off with that Reinhardt ultimate. Your team's gonna make progress eventually. And it's making the Titans scared to use the Graviton Surge, because they know they can be punished for their hubris if they push aggressively forward. But Super, uh, oh, he's just again. getting caught. Again, there are so many characters right now on the field that displace their foes that Super really didn't have much choice but to stand there. He was knocked out of position. Yeah, and Reinhardt, obviously not a mobile hero where he's able to, like, Winston, for instance, like, can use that jump pack to get back into a position I mean, by his team. When you get booped or stunned, there's no way for him to get back over. I would not consider a uh, sledgehammer-wielding German man who's very burly to be mobile. And despite having a, a literal jet on the back of his armor, well, it's not that maneuverable. Oh, Sobit Su is his Graviton. It's got negated by Chobin's defense matrix. Nice job there. And now a self-destruct. This might just compound the issue a little bit more for the Titans than it does. Rascal picks himself up too. The Titans thought they were home and home uh -huh. with the use of that Graviton, but all of a sudden it was taken away from them. Yeah, and Chobin playing D.Va, as we mentioned. D.Va can eat up the projectiles with the defense matrix. The Graviton Surge, that big ultimate Azari is one of them. Completely takes that huge ultimate that Vancouver's playing around off of the field allows the shock to take point A. I mean, amidst all the mess of the fighting, we, we didn't mention that that was San Francisco's last chance to get to this first checkpoint. Now they do that, they get a time extension, but that doesn't give them a huge bank to lean on for what this, this second stage, which I would consider one of the most treacherous parts for attacking teams. A lot of pitfalls for the unwary here. And the Titans, look at this, they just take the payload. They say, no, yeah, they push you back. The teams have swapped sides, so you see the shot now is still on offense, playing from the defensive side of the map. Slime engages with the sound barrier here as the Vancouver Titans want to get aggressive. They want to force out some of these ultimates from the shot. The shot don't fall for it though. The shot have held on to their transcendence in sound barrier through this. The best part is the shock disengage when the Titans try and push up, when they find a pick on the one person that was propelling the Titans forward. They pick off Slime on the Lucio at the start of that fight. And then the Vancouver Titans are stranded. They've swapped sides, so they're out of position and they don't have a speed boost to actually correct that for them. This is what Slime tries to do here. You see he's leading from the rear to start with. Oh, let's break it. Damn. Sound barrier provided. And he tries to go in here and he gets stunned up. Tries to get away. No, he went too deep into enemy territory. Good start. Another shock. This is quite luxurious to have the high ground here and great use of the boot to knock Bumper's the tires low. So with Super, though, they have to be careful. Hawks on Twilight, a quarter side that Graviton. Charlie goes over the top to go back and defend his team. Super tried to land a charge there, but he didn't find anyone. Slime was taken down by Moth, though, in the Lucio 1v1. Those two supports duking it out for supremacy, and that will continue the shock pushing forward. That's checkpoint two right there, and the shock won it badly. They get Graviton, but quickly, Violet uses the Transcendence to keep the shock healed. So, you know, the, the Titans have tried, like, two or three times to get that big ultimate out. Rally comes in here for the Titans. They're trying to fight this on the point. There's a self-destruct up in the sky there for Shayobin. Doesn't get anything. But below, though, he's got a Discord orb on him right now, so he's taking more damage than he otherwise would be. And Slime is taking down the Earth Shatter from Bumper. He gets himself three, but can he follow up on that one? He gets Rascal at the very least. Shayobin in the back line trying to duke it out with Twilight. He comes up short, but Bumper is going to go down. Super has to give himself up, though. And now the Shock is down to 17 seconds. They're so close to getting this next checkpoint, but Moth can't do anything now. The Transcendence was used by Twilight. So much healing, and there's eight seconds left for San Francisco to get someone on that payload. Is that Chayoven in a... Oh, he's trying to get oh back. No. He gets stunned up. He may not be able to make it. Chayoven was trying to swing onto the payload, but his momentum got stopped. 
That was very cute by Axel. Again, Wrecking Ball is able to swing up into the air, but I mean, you know, momentum is still conserved in Overwatch, despite there's like monkeys with jump packs. Some elements of the rules of physics apply. And in that case, Trick Urban didn't have the swinging momentum. But he said triple all acceleration to get to the he, uh, he did use the grapple to actually try and make that play. Just Hacksaw pushing up. Wrecking Ball, pretty uh, prominent hero in terms of like stall scenarios, trying to get back very quick. So what, where where is it, Matt, that you feel like the Shock got really stumped on this map? It took him a long time to get point A, and they didn't have a lot of time to play through that second phase of the map. They were so close to getting that next checkpoint and a time extension. You know, they had an advantage when they were getting close to taking point B, and Summon Sue uses the Graviton Surge, and Violet uses Transcendence. You're holding on to that Transcendence for very long. The Titans knew that. And when the Transcendence comes through, they don't exactly fight it. They just wanted to get that big Zenyatta ultimate off of the field for the shot. So they didn't have it to extend that fight really long, that final fight. So when they get that, they force, they fall back a little bit, then use the speed boost to come on back and use Bumper Shatter to pick up some kills. Don't forget, ladies and gents, this is just one part of the action. April 4th has been stage two, kicks off, and you can come and check it out live if you fancy it. AXS.com forward slash OWL. Be there, come say hello. So we'll see how the Shock decide to play this on defense. So uh, you see they did get the first checkpoint and then 93% of the way to the next one. So that's all the progress that the Titans would have to make to take Dorado. The Shock looks like they're gonna play close up, just like the Titans played. Seems to be the prominent strategy here on Dorado. San Francisco, will they take this early fight, unlike the Titans, or will back they up. give ground back up? They back up. So both teams actually, uh, you know, erring on the side of caution here. <laughs> Where they've had no caution throughout the whole series up until this point. <laughs> Maybe that's it, the Shock, they, they get in the lead for the, the first time in this series, and perhaps they realize that they have to be a little bit more conservative. Either way, the Titans now make their way through this choke. The Shock have to fight them pretty soon. Super, well, he might not have had a choice there. He was thrust into the mix. And this at least slows the Titans down. They use Bumper's shield to back away. And they might try and fake a rotation here. Keep an eye on those little X-rays. Okay, they're going to the high ground. And the Shock have read this well. See Troy Coben here, trying to get an aerial view of the situation. Super, he keeps playing around these corners. He wants to conserve that Reinhardt shield as much as possible. I mean, the longer that he can keep his team uh, sort of away from the searching damage for the rest of the Titans, or at least a lot of their, their shots, a lot of their projectiles can be blocked by They Superman. fall back so much here, though, you're only going to have maybe one fight to decide point Super's A. so low. He's so low right now. He gets a bubble from Sinatra to try and keep alive, but it's not enough. Silent tries to go for the Transcendence, but again, it's too late in the day. The Shock have lost their centerpiece, and now the wheels are falling off the rest of them. Trohuman will take to the sky, and Moth, you see him there. He's keeping the payload contested. He's hard to spot sometimes, he's quite mobile. Eventually, though, he's removed. That's a rough first fight, though, for the Shock. I mean, the first fight decides that first point. The Titans, they unlock the second part of the map. Five minutes to do it. And look, I mean, they've held on to their Graviton Surge. You see both of their supports. Slime and Twilight have their big sound barrier and transcendence. I mean, the Titans are definitely at a big advantage right now. Yeah. That right there is huge. Yeah. They're going to have to use Sinatra's Graviton Surge here to try and get an early fight win. Over the top now, the San Francisco Shock. They had the high ground. They opt to leap off. Normally, teams try and use, do this to try and get immediately into the back line of enemies. But right now, that was the Graviton you mentioned. They get Haxan as well. This fight might be more gainful than we first thought. self destruct over the top. Jano and Trick Hoven both fight a target, but losing Sinatra is definitely going to hurt the shock. Again, a big source of their damage is missing. But Twilight goes down. Violet able to duel him out. It's it a big kill. Because you could have gotten aggressive there if you're Vancouver, because you still hold on to that sound barrier. Look at this. Sinatra started the fight up with the Graviton Surge. We talked about Vancouver having all those check marks, all of those ultimates. They're gone now. Just the sound barrier. That's definitely what the Shock wanted. They need more of it, though, because the Titans still have 3 minutes 50 to get to their next checkpoint. The Shock have to give up some space, though, because you lose Sinatra and his bubbles to keep alive. A lot of its team is you have to fall back. Rascal completely overwhelmed there. I don't think it was ready for the Titans to come pouring out at him, and this might have backfired for the Shock. They tried to get cued, Matt. They tried to hide their Brigitte away, but they were spotted immediately, and now the Titans are on the home stretch. They're so close to that golden box of victory. That would signify their win on this map. And the Shock, once again, are up against the clock. Trick Hoban does get away from Janu, but he is so low on health. He'll have to come in from the backside here. Moth gets onto the payload and begins contesting the objective. 
Pilot already goes down a bump early on in the fight, and the Graviton serves to catch Mark Huxel. Can he look on? Trick Hoven sneakily behind the payload, but he is spotted out. The attacking team can see it. Now we got ourselves a game. After four maps, it is two and two between the Shock and the Titans, the latter firing back most recently, and this is our first to four. We have much more Overwatch to be played, Matt. I tell you what, you know, every map that Vancouver's win, it's been dominant. The Shock barely holding on here. We're all tied up. See you after the break. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. And by Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. Ever since they first walked into the Overwatch League this season, the Titans have been convinced that they would be in this particular match and they would be vying for supremacy here in this season of the Overwatch League. And they weren't wrong, but now it seems they may have found an opponent that is worth or worthy yeah, of their efforts. I mean, the Shark, look, have played the Titans tougher right now than we've seen any team really play them throughout the Overwatch League thus far. I mean, look, the, the first matchup between these teams, the Titans win 3-1, but it's very close. Either a, either team could have taken that one. It goes back and forth throughout that series. The, the only thing that you see so far, though, is that when the Shock are winning these maps, it's like barely getting by winning these maps. When the Titans are taking these maps, they're blowouts, all in favor of Vancouver. I mean, you could say it's economy of energy, really, and the Shock are just putting everything into every other map and winning them. <laughs> but realistically yeah. now, th they've lost an opportunity in that previous map by... I mean, barely getting that first uh, capture point, getting barely getting that first checkpoint on Dorado. That didn't give them a lot of time to do much more with it. It was down to Troy Coven playing Wrecking Ball, a character very much yeah. designed to cross large distances very quickly to just contest the payload to keep them in it. Then the Titans turned around and they had a very dominant attack themselves. Yeah, and I know after the map ends, I could see Super's face on stage, just kind of like hands on his face, like, oh man, they knew they messed that one up. That potentially had a chance of force the Titans onto a series point, yeah. right? If they would have taken that one, as we move into Ilios coming up next, uh, could have had a choice, Busan or Ilios right. here, as uh, you'll see Ilios in play for the Shock. So this is the Shock's pick of map. Uh, we saw them early in the season when we saw them on Busan, put a different lineup in to run some more damage dealers. Uh, this time, well, they're gonna go over to Ilios, going to keep the same lineup in. This is an interesting map. Uh, again, we may, have, we may have a chance to see multiple stages inside Ilios. This one is Lighthouse. And it's characterized by, you get it, a lighthouse right here. This is the point that things will be competing over. The scary part about the lighthouse is that three sides of it are uh, surrounded by water. So there is a great risk uh, 
to playing around the edges, the fringes of this point. You really want to commit and stay safer that way, ironically enough. But hey, both these teams are very good at putting all their marbles into one situation. Yeah, Vancouver, as you saw in the graphic, undefeated on Ilios, 5-0. and oh. That is big. Uh, you know, hopefully... With, with their record and their map score, not a lot of maps that they could have dropped yep. two teams, but still very impressive. Throughout stage one to be undefeated on the map. The shock had to pick this one. It was the oh. pick. Oh, super, be careful. Oh, Twilight, he's got over the edge. Somehow Moffis found his way in and carved out a key support from the lineup of the Vancouver Titans. And now they can start to lean into this flagging Vancouver squad and they do just that. Johnny and Slime are on the point. They're trying to keep it contested, but at no point did the Titans fully capture the point, so they never accrued any percentage. Now the shot can do that. Yeah, and when you take a look at this from Moss POV, so using the Lucio wall right to get up a high. Oh, that's beautiful. And then using the boop to you see, place Twilight off the side. Slime, his opposite number, was keeping an eye on him. He actually, Slime, booped, him booped him Moth yeah. away in hopes that that would sort of dissuade him from attempting to knock any of the Titans off. Didn't quite work, did it? Well, getting the Zenyatta is huge because that takes the Discord Orb out of the equation, so no damage amplification there in that first fight for the Titans. And it also allows Viola to build up toward Ooh, that Huxel. transcendence. Gotta be careful. I think Sinatra, one of his right clicks, actually knocked him out of position. Huxal is down. The Titans lose that first player and they will lose a second just as quickly. And look at the shock. They're doing a lot of damage. They've not been forced to use any ultimates, so they're just building up a bank of them. You know, it's uh, when we talked about teams like New York, how defensive they are, we're always like, they're so much better as the reactionary team. Vancouver, they look great when they're the ones setting the tone. When the fight is coming to them and they're forced to react and they make a judgment call, the back foot, they, they? kind of hesitate a little bit. They're not exactly that lightning quick. I mean, the onus of all the, the thinking goes on the team that has to be reactive, right? If you can set the pace, you don't have to think about the response. The Titans, again, are going to try and be the instigators here. They catch Rascal inside the Graviton Surge. It's going to be hard to keep him alive. Sinatra's Graviton is also negated by Janu. So the chance for the, the, the shock to fire back in this fight is also taken away from them by some fantastic diva play. Johnny will wait around the corner there as a self-destruct was set off and Super was trying to set up a bomb combo, but Bumper was the only one felled by that one. Janu sat in the corner. Chojoban now just standing still to try and keep the point contested. The shock though are 81% and more of the way towards winning because of how long they control the point for. Just 15% to go for San Francisco. You're pretty much in one fight territory here for the shock if you can get one to flip in your favor. Both Graviton Surges used during that fight. Sinatra's gets eaten up by Janu using that D.Va defense matrix. Sinatra's already had another one. Puts down enough damage to earn another Graviton Surge here. Faster than Soma and Sue right now. That could make a big difference now as the Shock really just need to win one more fight. Just one. Sinatra straight away lets the grab go. Is it enough to get Sormin Sue? Not quite! It looks like Bumper trying to slow them down with an Earth Shatter now. The Graviton Surge will be committed. And if you're the Shock, you accept this, Matt. You knew the Titans had a lot of ultimate abilities in reserve. You forced them to use them by getting Sinatra to go aggressive with a Graviton Surge. Yeah, I mean, Sinatra uses Graviton Surge. The answer for the Titans is the Graviton Surge of Soman Soup, Bumper with a Shatter, Twilight with Transcendence, and then Janu also using Self-Destruct. Oh, yeah. So that's four ultimates used there by the Titans. So the Titans won the fight, but they got hustled out of a lot of their resources that they need for the rest of this round. It's a shock play in the long game, right? So they know they need one more fight. They get the advantage now. This might be the chance here. Sound Barrier straight away from Slime to make sure that no one from the Titans falls early than they need to. But they stack Sound Barrier in Rally. They use two support ultimates at the same exact time. And now they have none, Matt. The Shock just deftly disengage and allow the healing to be done. Super puts the shield down. Now he goes for the Shadow Bumper. Also blocks it there. Self-Destruct didn't find too much, but it's a two for two train currently now. Super aggressively on towards Johnny tries to knock him down. Shoy Coven, he's got Janu. Johnny ejected from his mech straight into the blast. And that was the fight the Shock were looking for. And what's more, they have ultimates left just in case the Titans make a desperate attempt to contest 90% for San Francisco. On oh, Hacksaw makes such a sick play, actually kills Moth before the animation of the sound barrier goes down. So you didn't get a use out of that big support ultimate there for the shock. They're still able to win it. Janu trying to get a touch against d Max here. Easily, and a Graviton Surge used for the most part of the Titans here. Hacksaw is removed so early in the fight. Johnny's forced to try and keep the point contested without his Megan Slime. Might be headed over the edge. He's skating away now and realizes that that is it. The San Francisco Shock win the first round on Ilios. Trying to get themselves on towards that championship point, and this is where they do it. 
And I tell you what, this would be a huge win for the Shock, obviously putting them on championship point, but also, no, as we would go into like another halftime after this, Vancouver leaves the stage. They know they have just lost the map. They've been undefeated on throughout the stage. Like, where is their mind going to be at? No, being on that match point, looking down at potentially you know, taking their undefeated stage and throwing it in the bin with a loss here in the final. We've seen the Vancouver Titans falter once before. In fact, more than once, in fairness, the last time it was against the Chongju Hunters when they were forced to play aggressively. Here is our next point of contention. This is Ruins. The teams will fight over that small. It's a lowered area as well. So attacking teams or teams that don't control a point can fire in from the higher ground to try and get early advantages or pickoffs. But for now, it'll be nose to the grindstone as both teams will be looking for a way to try and limit each other's numbers before the fight. Vancouver being aggressive here, just trying to back the shock off as Super gets low. They're forced to use that Brigitte repair pack. So Vancouver knows that ability is on cooldown. Knows you don't have that instant burst heal, but look, Sinatra already at 100 charge. Bumpers, oh, there he goes. It's almost like Bumper didn't exist. Vaporite there. Rascal also assisting with that elimination. And now the Shock though, with a two-player advantage, they can just hit the gas. And, and as I mentioned with, you know, the Vancouver Titans, potentially, you know, the mind games that would go on if they were to lose this one and go down, you know, potentially match point. The Shock is a young team that they thrive in scenarios like this. When they start to get going, there's Super and Sinatra. There's some they're pretty interesting guys. They like to really get in the mix to talk some trash. Violet able to pick up a, a kill there. So now you move up, you get more aggressive here if you're the Shock. This is similar to what happened for the Shock on the previous round of this map. They won the first fight, and then the next couple of All fights they ultimates. won by just getting early pickoffs. And then they were 85% by the time the Titans could retake. This might happen again. You get those early pickoffs, you don't have to use any ultimates because Vancouver has to wait for everybody to get back as the shot getting very close. They're going to have all six ultimates coming online for the next fight. 38% and counting for the shock. And they're getting ready to receive the Titans. They know this one's going to be tough. Well, hang on in. They're going to have to use some of those key ultimates they've been saving. First is the rallies from both Brigitte's. Some extra healing and now the Graviton Surge comes out from the shock first. This one assess to take Twilight's Transcendence. Earth Shadow attempt here. Bumper wants to go ham, but he's knocked down. Super's going to be caught in the Graviton Surge, as is the rest of the shock. But now he needs to keep that shield up. Janu takes Super down. The sound barrier wasn't enough to keep everyone on the shock side alive. Playing from a player disadvantage now. They have to find another player on the Titans. They can carve off, and they found it. Again, it's Joykoven, the micro rocket poop, jumping into bumper, and the Shock still have control. The Titans are forced into a full scale retreat. Yeah, it's just too much damage coming down from Sinatra. They both use their Graviton surges at the same time. Sinatra already had 70%, Sum and Sue right behind him. But in terms of overall damage, I mean, Sinatra 33% of the damage for the Shock here on Ilios. He gets another good grab, they can win this map. The Titans last chance now on Ilios to stay in the map. They have to win this next fight. Sinatra quietly accruing another ultimate. He's looking for another Graviton Surge and it will have it in a couple moments and that could be the difference maker. Both he and Sominsu have it ready. And now again, the focus is on Sominsu, on that Zaya. Super's a little low, Sinatra quickly dispatches the bubble to keep him alive and he gets himself in the mix right in the middle of that Graviton Surge. Tricoven is the mech, but that's a huge shadow from Bumper. That might have saved him for the Titans. He lays the shock low, and now with Rascal going down, so Minsu finally pick on Sinatra, the Titans. They're not going down that easily. It's a big shatter from Bumper there to get the point back for the so Vancouver calm. Titans. I know, it's crazy how calm. Well, they, they have not been in this scenario before in the Overwatch. Push to the brink here. They were champions in Korea. Korean contenders by defeating a team called Kongdu. They took a trophy there. They're looking for the first one to fill the cabinet here in the Overwatch League. 24% to 99. As soon as the shot gets the point back, it's all over. The Titans cannot give control. They have to fully lock this one out now. And this is the Titans we've seen all stage. Rally, get aggressive, push through. Bumper never even puts the shield up. Already at 80% to a shatter. So that, I think, is the Titans you need to see throughout the remainder of this series. The aggressive team. They need to switch back to being the instigators, the bullies, as it were. They need to take San Francisco's lunch money and that capture progress. So the Shock know that they're visible right now to the Titans in what they're doing. They are trying to find a way to slip through their defenses and at least get through this choke point here. 
not have, they haven't taken too much damage, but the Titans have a lot to work with. The Shock are better off just trying to get this fight over with as quickly as they can, because based on the ultimate advantage, the odds aren't good. Transcend is now being used early in the fight here by Violet. The Shock took so much damage, even trying to approach the point, they're forced to use that defense ultimate now. Soundberry coming out for the Shock as they've been graviton here. Johnny's trying to go for the combo. It doesn't work out. The self destruct is finally one bumper. Oh, he was low. Very quickly getting killed back up by Twilight, though. Is there a stun on bumper? No. That's what Super was looking for, and he gives up his life to find it now at 87%. The Titans starting to take control. One more fight, and they might make it impossible for the Shock cont to contest, yeah. Matt. Oh, it's a few players here late for the Shock go down. The speed comes through from Slime. Yet Moth who's able to get a touch here for overtime, but it's not looking good for the Shock. The Shock have to get here now, but they've lost Moth already. Their Shock Caller, their main support. Troikhoven threw himself at the point, and Super has to do the same, but there's no other options left for the Shock. The Titans were on the precipice of losing this map. And in a labored arm wrestling style, they finally take control. And now we're going to get ourselves three rounds on the map of Ilios also. This next round will be deciding map number five. So uh, the last stage left on Ilios will be well to decide who takes this map, who goes on the championship point. So you see the capture point here, it's this entire area. Uh, not including the well, you go down the well. You don't want to go okay. back to respawn, yeah. So, uh, look to see some of those heroes that can displace, like Moth playing that Lucio and then Slime for the Titans to make a play. It's, looks like Vancouver, okay, so this is gonna be something a little bit different. We've only really seen three tanks, three supports throughout the entire thing. Soman Su will play McCree, a damage dealer. He can sit at range behind Bumper's Orisa, can play behind this big shield and lay down some damage. This gunslinger hits hard. And he rewards accuracy. Solomon Su has that in spades. Bumper will be playing Ar Arissa, this four-legged tank. Less mobile even potentially than Reinhardt, but very hard to shift out of position. The Shock are gonna try and do just that with Super on the Winston. And notice that Solomon Su does not want to really get too far out in the open. He can get picked off, but he can also do that. And, and that's where it gets dangerous for the San Francisco Shock. If Super dives in there on Winston, you have McCree here, play, played by Soman Su, who's got the flash. Oh, nasty! <laughs> Almost takes out Rascal there, that's all who's in the finish. And you also have the Brigitte stun in the bash as well. So a lot of stuns here for the Vancouver Titans to make Super's life very hard. Now, I don't know how Cowboy's got flashbangs, but McCree has one, and that stun that it causes was how they were able to pick up the kill on Rascal there. If you're the San Francisco Shock, you need to find a solution to this team composition the Titans are bringing. I mean, the way you would do it is just to get past the Orisa shield. So it's not like a Reinhardt shield where you can hold it up and move it. Orisa just puts it on the ground. So if you can get past it, you can make a play. Dead Eye attempting Solomon Su here, trying to pick off some players. Doesn't find anything though, but now is forced to fight up very close with enemy tanks, which is not where you want to be as McCree. Now the Graviton Surge, Super going down here. And the Titans will the storm admirably. A lot gets thrown at the by the Shock. But the shot can't complete it now. Everyone down the well. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. The only benefit there for the shot is that they flip the point during that, so they do gain some percentage on the point. Stop Vancouver. Vancouver holds on to that point the whole time. They're up by nearly like fifty percent right now, and the shot are in even more trouble. Johnny now is trying to get a read on which direction the shot are going to be coming from. Arissa plays like a pivot. Bumper is not very mobile, as we mentioned here, so you really want to make sure people don't take you by surprise. Like this, Super just drops in from the top. His spidey sense obviously was tickling, and the sound barrier now getting used for the Vancouver Titans, but this composition is working out very well for them. So Su on the McCree dispatches Super, and then he goes on a bit of a hunt himself. His ultimate Deadeye, very nasty if he's given the room to use it effectively, but it may not matter. The shock. Now the shoe's on the other foot, and they're being put in a position where they have to fight for their survival on this map. And the shock in a position here where you're playing in like a one-fight scenario because you have these ultimates. They're gonna try and invest a lot into this fight to swing the point back. If they lose it though, I mean you're looking at Vancouver stealing this map. <laughs> How annoying is that for Super? He tries to engage the jumps forward with the bubble and the yeah. Titans just drop down, use slime to boost their movement speed, and guess what? It's back to the drawing board as they play here on the point behind that bubble. The Shock are the ones that have to crack this code. 
The Titans have done a great job of being the instigators here, and Trick Omen gets the mech pretty much straight away here. Dead Eye coming out now from Sorbets, who we found Trick Omen after he got the mech, but it's a trade. Slime goes down. The Titans have lost a very key part of this puzzle. They're not a mobile team. They've lost their only speed boost, and now they've lost Bumper. The Shock will take control at the 11th hour. So they keep themselves in the race. So the Shock, when they take the point here, you're going to have to see some switches potentially from Vancouver. It's very difficult to attack with We're the right. Orisa. They're switching off. Yeah, so now they switch it off. They'll have Bumper move off of Orisa and Winston and Soman Suit not going to play the McCree anymore. Going to be playing Zarya now. Everything else stays the same. So the Shock have forced the Titans to play their game now. However, the Titans only need to win one more fight. Th this does put the Titans behind, though, an ultimate economy in terms of their Graviton Surge and Primal Rage. That's Zarya and Winston Ultimate. Because they switch to those heroes, they're gonna start from zero. We see Sinatra already getting close to a grab. Shock had to be flawless now to maintain control of the point that cannot give the Titans an inch. Sinatra is close to the Graviton Surge. Slime has a sound barrier for the Vancouver Titans. That's about all they really have to work with right now, and they'll need to use it in a pinch to keep their team alive. Johnny takes a lot of damage coming across the point, and he gives Sinatra that Graviton Surge. He's about ready to let that one go now, but it's going to be Violet to start off the fight here by using the Transcendence. Now Sinatra can be aggressive. He can get into the back line of the Titans. Slime is stunned up. Twilight is picked off. That's what the Shock need in this fight. And that self destruct from Johnny finds nothing. And mind you, the Shock are already at 80% here. So they do have the Primal Rage to use from Super, that Winston Ultimate to stall out. You see how aggressive they're being. They're going to use the Primal Rage, push the Vancouver Titans further back. The Shock up to 90%. The Butter Belief starting to blossom now for the Shock. The Titans are forced to use a Transcendence to even get to the point. They need that ultimate for when the fighting gets real, and they've used it already. Sinatra gets himself a sound barrier. Axel down first, but Choi Hoban again gets rid of Soul Min Su. All the damage for the Titans is now missing. I can't believe this. The Shock bring it back now at 99%. All they've got to do is clear off the point. And it's Slime that was trying to keep them in there. Now it'll be an attempt across the side from Twilight, but he also is taken down. Reinforcements are on way for the Titans, but they're too slow! What a comeback! The Shock have set themselves up now for a championship point. They look like they were in the dumpster at the start of that round, but they do exactly what the Titans did and bring things back, and now it's just one map that they need to be crowned the Stage 1 Champions, man. Insanity! Oh, what wow. a crazy map. We have a chance now to take a break and hear from the analysts. We'll see you guys after this one shortly. There's much more Overwatch to be played. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile. High ground or low ground, T-Mobile has you covered.
After five maps were set up for an epic finish, the Shock are just one map away from taking the Stage 1 title up over the Titans. Welcome back, everybody. It's Puggy here with Zoe. We've got Brent back with us once again. Blizzarina, how you feeling? You still awake? Yeah. Yes! I'll be honest, these games are draining me, especially that third one. And we got to start here with the Anubis because this was San Francisco Shock's pick. And we talked to the coaches during the break. They said, if we can take Anubis, we'll have the confidence to take this series. But they barely won this map yeah, by the skin of their teeth. this one was clutch. Honestly, at the beginning, there were a lot of mistakes across the board. One in particular was Violet's Transcendences. He popped this one a little bit prematurely, more than just once. However, it got better over the course. They did manage to clutch it out in the very end. And there was so much great teamwork on point B here, where they just really layered us ultimately perfectly. We had grafts into shatters, into yep. bumps. It was beautiful to watch. This has been incredible to watch because uh, of the reasons you just pointed out, Zoe. I feel like Super has been clutching right here, hits the earth shatter necessary for Choi Hyoman to get those 3K insane synergy between these two teams. It is like a, a masterclass of Overwatch that we're watching before our very eyes. Yeah, those big bangs, they don't just happen. You have to set them up. The Reinhardt shatter drops everyone to the ground then the D.Va Bomb explodes. But Troy Hoban, without a doubt, was definitely the MVP for the shock in map three. If you look on the other side for the Titans, I think the MVP for Dorado has to be Twilight, right? So he was winning all these Zen fights. Yeah, Twilight was bloodthirsty on Dorado. He did a fantastic job, not just with his ultimate, also with the damage output he actually got done. And that was partially due to them also pressuring the tank line from the San Francisco Shock a lot, which means that Twilight had free range. There was no shield in between him and the damage he can deal to the opponents. Yeah, and it's reoccurring themes from map three where Violet's ultimates have been a little bit off the Mark. Yep. Super's getting pressured, as you just said. So he forces Violet to use his ultimates, but he's just been just missing them when it comes to the healing and not keeping his team up. But it was very close again between these two teams. Still a winnable scenario for Shock, despite them getting full held in the streets phase. And then I, I just want to point out the fact that, you know, when we saw this, this Zen sort of head to head, I mean, this wasn't one of our talking points, but it has been so, so good. And Twilight had Violet's number here. He killed him an overhaul of four times yeah. on Dorado, where Violet only got one counter kill. Uh, Twilight died a lot less half the times of Violet, and generally he did more damage and he did manage to get more healing done. So overall, Twilight definitely got the better end of that I match. guarantee you, if you play Overwatch at home, your Zen Yada is not hitting the shots that guy was in map number four. So now we're all tied up to a piece. We go into the ever important map five. It's Ilios, it's Control once again. But before we get to the highlights, we should remind everybody, the Titans were unbeaten on this map coming into today. Four and zero as far as I'm aware. And they had a hell of a record on it. Like, it's just an unreal performance from the Shock as well to sort of come into this match as well. I will say Vancouver Titans, the, the matches they've won on Ilios haven't looked sloppy. They haven't looked clean on it by any means. And it was scary. We saw Somensu coming out on McCree. We saw Bumper on that Orisa. And this composition, that usually means that they expected more DPS, more damage yes. dealers on the opposing team. And that was not the case. So we all got a little bit worried in the back, like, oh no, I hope they're going to change it. They didn't have to change it up in the end. The Titans went up 97%, but in the end, it was, of course, the shock coming back and stealing that map five. Sinatra, a big piece of this so far. We highlighted it. The 18-year-old needs to be doing work today. He put it in, especially in the final moments of this one. He's been destroying, right? We've been setting this up. It's the Sinatra versus Soman, uh, Soman Su show. And it's just been an absolute, again, I want to use the same word, masterclass performance from both of these players. They've been competing to see who is the better Zarya player. So far, Sinatra has been enabled completely way more than so Min Su has. He's been absolutely destroying, especially in the final moments of that Ilios. Yep. We just saw him, big clutch from him. He's just been playing out of his mind. Everybody has been playing at the top of their game right now here in the Stage 1 Finals. You're watching some of the best Overwatch we have seen so far in 2019, but there's one fight we want you to focus on in the remaining games. Keep your eyes on these main tanks. We talked about it all pre-show. How are they stacking up after five games so far? Yes, this is the overarching storyline, right? It's so even between these two titans on the field. And you can see Super's just edging out. I want to pay your attention to the Earth Shatter stuns. That is one of the most important stats in the game. It's the 
reason that he's going to be setting up a lot of the plays for the rest of his team. And you can see the Super is getting the better of Bumper. Bumper's being pressured way more in this game than he did has been previously. You can definitely tell he is under constant pressure. And this is new ground. This is new territory for the Titans in general because they are kind of being torn apart a little bit. And honestly, this series being this close between them, I can definitely feel if I, you know, Titans, they're sweating up there right now because they are just one map away realistically from it just going all downhill. All right, well, Sully, it looks like we have the shock now on match point. Do you still have faith in your prediction, though, the Titans? Uh, I mean, this means that uh, the Vancouver Titans will be picking the map here. So I think if they make the right pick, this might actually work for them. We did talk about adaptations from uh, both of those teams. The uh, options we have here are Hollywood and King's Row. Now, King's Row, Titans might look very good on it. However, they faced off against the San Francisco Shock on King's Row, and that was the one match which went the distance. That was an incredible clutch, very close game. Oh, yeah. So I honestly do not think that the Vancouver Titans are actually going to go for King's Row. I think they're going to feel more at home on Hollywood. Brent, who wins this one? Are you sticking with your Shock? Do they do it I'm right now? With shock. Of course I'm going to be sticking with the San Francisco Shock to win this one. I can't see it realistically going anyway. They are in their heads. They're living their rent-free pocket. I got to say, realistically now, they're going to be taking this all the way after that Ilios map. Let us know on Twitter, how does this one play? I'll tweet us at Overwatch League. We'll be right back with potentially the final game after this. Trial by a fire for both of these teams in their first playoffs in the Overwatch League. And it's now the San Francisco Shock who've taken this series to championship point. One more map and the boys from SF will be in the money. And the Vancouver Titans undefeated during stage one of the Overwatch League. Undefeated into the playoffs up until this point. No, they had not dropped a game in the playoffs. They are on the brink of elimination. Right. Uh, I mean, like, like the Titans had lost maps in the regular yeah. stage, right? Not many. But not in the playoffs. Not many. Not enough to lose a full series. And you know, they, they've talked tough the whole stage, right? You know, they, they felt that you know, the scene that they came from in Korean Contenders was even stronger than some of the teams last year in the Overwatch League. They wanted to prove a point. They've gotten to this point. It's just you, you got some guys on the other side, though, with Super and Sinatra. You know, when they hear the talk on the other side, they bring it. And you they see Sinatra you know, leading in hero damage here per 10 minutes, not including the playoffs. But right. still, you just see where him and Soman Su rank in terms of Zarya players and just players overall in the league. Yeah, per 10 minutes, this is a significant dis uh, difference. Sinatra putting out the most damage here. He also takes about 2,000 more damage yeah. per 10 than Soman Su. It's just sort of healed. 
So, you know, he, he takes extra damage. He maybe dies a little bit more, but he's playing aggressively. Sinatra looks for aggressive angles to get the most out of his Zarya charge. And that's what he's been looking to try and continue in this series. King's Row, I mean, if it ends here, it would feel fitting. I yeah. mean, this, this is the iconic map. Every uh, Overwatch player and fan understands this map. They gravitate towards it, man. Again, yep. this is a hybrid map. Yeah, so you see the point there, you know, outlined in blue. You take that point and you're able to capture it. Then you unlock the payload. And then the payload would move through the street space. Right there, you would see where point B is. And then you're going to move through the factory here all the way to the end and potentially complete the entire map. But you see that large circle at the end. That would be point C, completing the map. And if you're with us for the Dorado map, it is very similar, yes. except you need to capture the point to get the payload. Whereas on Dorado, you have the payload as soon as you walk out. And these two teams had actually, when they faced earlier in the season, played this map against each other. It was And amazing. it was down to the wire. Assuming two and Sinatra both broke like damage records in that map. It's a really great Reinhardt and Zarya map. The shock now, wondering what's on the other side of Destiny. They step up to the plate. Let's see if they can finish this series here and now. The Titans, I'm sure, have other plans. Already Sinatra is showcasing some of that signature aggressiveness by being at the head of the pack here. But Super's taking quite a lot of damage as well. It's almost as if they're baiting the Titans to get aggressive. Look at Lou. Oh. Oh, Sue. He took so much damage and the shock get what they wanted. They goad the Titans into overextending with their Zarya. Yeah, no damage here for the Titans. Zarya provides so much of that. And no bubbles or Violet gets caught out there by Haxal. Almost two thirds of catch-up progress done. And the Shock have got that much, but they still need to finish this fight now. The Titans have to start pouring onto the point after them, but the Shock's respawn players are coming in. The reinforcements aren't too far away. They need to make do with what they've got for the time being, though. Transcendence was used. Huxel also goes for the rally, so the Titans have used key support ultimates, and they won't have them now. Graviton Surge is used to keep Bumper in place to stop them from being such a nuisance, but the Shock still haven't found the important first kill of Super. That shield's about to get broken. What timing! Violet gets the Transcendence at the nick of time to keep super nice and topped up. And the Shock now looking much better. Yeah, and Sinatra uses that Graviton Surge and there's no kills that follow up on it because Super is so low. Can't go in there and swing with the hammer. That'll be the Shock though that takes point A. They use the Transcendence, they get aggressive behind it. They back Van Hoover into the corner. Now you see the Shock. They're gonna push up here. They're gonna try and take some space. They wanna push some of the players back from Vancouver who gotta spawn further up and allow them to move the payload through some of the streets phase uncontested. The Shock just put the just took the first checkpoint, but they were standing just now by the second checkpoint. That's how much space they try to take away from the Titans and also prevent Vancouver from quickly getting back into a position that would favor defenders. You see, the Titans now have to be very careful as they make their way down the streets, not knowing who will be around the next corner. And it is Super, waiting to swing that hammer. They catch Bumper out again. He gets discorded, but the Transcendence comes in just in time, this time from Twilight. Graviton Surge, another one from the Shock, and the Titans have to use the sound barrier here. Twilight's in deep trouble. He's on the payload trying to stay alive, but still the Titans hold on. They find their feet and bring the Shock to a halt. And now you'll see the Titans push up. They still have a little bit of remaining on the rally there. So Bumper has his own Earth Shadow. It's a big win for the Titans, Mitch. Now that payload starts to move around that first corner. You start to get towards the end, you know, potentially it shocks at a really good time taking point B as well. Now the shock have to work for it. You're starting to build some of these ultimates back up again. Super drops down, the rest of the shock follows suit. They all need to stay behind the protected barrier of Super, but that's starting to form some cracks. It's getting weakened. Bumper now inside the shock's transcendence here, trying to get away as well, as the shock will give no quarter, and they finally run him down. The main tank missing for Vancouver. Yeah, and Bumper not able to get out of the way. You saw his Reinhardt shield was broken. Super with the charge in. They're trying to go in and finish off some of these players as soon as Super falls. So the transcendence used here by the Titans are going to use the Graviton Surge as well. Sinatra will go down there. He tries to keep himself alive with his own protected barriers. But the Titans pick an interesting moment, actually, to decide to invest ultimates in that fight. And it does work. I think they saw that point B was going to slip from them. They did not use some of those ultimates. They had to get aggressive. They there. had to. And that's what the Shock want to do. They want to put the Titans in positions where they're forced to dig deep in those pockets to use those ultimates that they've so, uh, you know, carefully accrued. It, it's an ultimate advantage here for the Shock, though. They're going to have Shatter. 
Graviton Surge in Rally. Rally kicks things off for both teams. Bumper might have slowed this one down though. True Hyoven is knocked to the ground and Johnny now trying to follow it up with a self-destruct. Neither of those ultimates yield any kills. And now Super, it's his turn to get aggressive. But his Shatter just flops straight into the shield of Bumper. But still, the aforementioned goes down. The aggression of Bumper perhaps just coming back to bite the Titans in the rear now. The shock know how to make use of it. Well, I just don't think that the Titans have really had this much experience when a Reinhardt is as aggressive on the other side. Usually when Bumper is playing against a lot of the other teams in the league, they play very passive. You know, he comes in with all this pressure, he's charging, he's trying to flank. Now you see Super playing as aggressive. Rascal pulls early here. Big shadow there from Super. Is it after caught now inside that self-destruct? Oh, Choi still finds so Minsu. That is massive. The payload was stopped just before the second checkpoint when now the shock can keep pushing it. A big knockdown there with Sinatra and Super up both fell. Another trick. Bumper's not able to follow it up here. Twilight is getting completely undone right now by Violet, who gets the transcendence. And the shock get that second checkpoint. I mean, Bumper spent so long thinking he's the biggest guy in the gym, but soon he's been lifted. I mean, he's lift, been lifting the burger to his lift, but he's been lifted one way or another. And he shows up with some real attitude, some real grit. Sinatra with another Graviton Surge, so getting them about 30 seconds faster than so in a game like Overwatch, it's a lot of time as Bumper gets oh. on the ground. They kind of want to sacrifice him there in, in regards. They don't want to get everybody trapped up in it, because then there's no chance of fighting this at the end. But you can see how much the shock value getting him off the battlefield with how many ultimates they commit to just getting rid of Bumper. But now there'll be more thrown into this back corner. Notice how low Slime is. Sinatra is in a great spot to get a lot of damage done. He quickly gives Super the bubble, but the shock have to be careful. The Titans can encircle them here. The Titans are very close to their own spawn, which means they have further, less far, should I say, to walk to get back to the scene of the battle. The Shock, however, don't have that luxury here. They need to win cleanly to get to the end of the map. Two minutes and 15 seconds remain for San Francisco to finish. So they get very closer towards the end. Super, though, his shield gets broken there, so he's kind of stuck in that middle of the last hallway there, not really able to get out without that shield. It's you're gonna have a Graviton self to shot combo. They've been very good setting up those so far. Both of these teams have the same ultimates coming into this fight. Bumper will have an Earth Shadow on top, but essentially, both of these squads are looking to have their Zayas land a big Gravitons and then follow up with perhaps a bomb finish from either Diva. Here it comes though. Twilight goes for the Transcendence now. The shocks Graviton Surge doesn't really find them too much now. Violet's forced to do the same thing. Notice that shield quickly turn around for Supi, who is protecting his team from the self-destructive Janu. Neither roster has found that first kill yet. Ever so slowly. You see up from a high ground, John is trying to get a commanding view of the situation. Super slow though, he has to keep that shield up and be careful. And this is where the Titans want to go aggressive now. Bumper's trying to move up here. He might be walking into a lot of damage though. He wants to not overextend. You see him take a step back. Realize he might have gone too far, but he baits the shock into an Earth Shatter. Soundberry now has to be used for San Francisco to keep them in this fight. Super tries to go for a Shatter of his own map, but it doesn't connect. Yeah, you do have Sinatra getting closer. Grab Soman Su has his as well. So we're about a minute to go here. It's going to be four players stuck in the grab. No follow up. Oh, actually, the follow up does come just a little bit late there. But they get Moth, Sinatra, in Super. I mean, the Titans are happy, Matt. If, as long as they win the fight, it doesn't matter how long it goes for. Well, the Shock, they don't invest their own grab there towards the end, Mitch. They hold on to their grab in self destruct combo. Is this going to be down to Choi Hyobin again? to save the Shock and get them the map completion. He's done it twice in this series. And maybe you decide if you know that they don't have grab on the other side. The Shock could engage with their Transcendence to force out the Transcendence of the Titans and then use the combo. It's go time now for the San Francisco Shock for the Titans. What a start this fight. First, Trigoman has to stay alive. He's forced to use the self-destruct inside the corridor here. And there's no way to prevent Bumper from protecting the Titans with his shield. He goes for the Earth Shadow now. The Shock are in a little bit of trouble. They corralled into the small hallway and now Moth and Violet down. There's only one support player left and it's not enough healing to keep the Shock alive. They have to stay up on this high ground platform now. And even with Rascal able to get to safety, he won't be able to get onto the payload. The Vancouver Titans fire back. And San Francisco go without a map completion here on King's Road. And it's interesting when they have that big combination of the Graviton and the self-destruct that they play inside that small corridor. Because there's, uh, you, you don't have a huge ability that you can use to get Bumper out of the way. Usually you see like a boop or whether it's a Reinhardt charge to get that Reinhardt out of the way, get his shield out. 
but there's nothing you can do in that close quarter hallway. You wonder what's gone through these guys' heads? What about coming out of their mouths? Let's hear a little bit of what San Francisco had to say on comms before this map. Let's go, guys. This is ours to take. Let's win the finals, guys. Just one more map. Just finish it. <laughs> and we can go home. <laughs> I mean, your job's not that hard, is it, Sinatra? Just win. You're coming to work. Playing some games. Just win and go home. But again, for them, it has to be this simple. They can't make it out to be anything, you know, over the top. It just has to be as simple as finishing the series. I mean, for guys, for guys that are 18, uh, you know, to, to understand that, it's very impressive. These guys really put a lot of work into developing a champion's yeah. mindset. And you know, this is, these are two of the younger teams that we have in the Overwatch League. Like, this is a matchup you will probably see time and time again. So that is where Vancouver Titans yeah. needs to get the payload once they unlock it to win King's Row, force the final map. Yeah, if you're a good team at defending, uh, you know, you really set yourself up to win this map pretty much every time now. The Titans know exactly what they have to do when they switch to attack. And if you're a Shock fan, you just have to see them not panic. You have a ton of time to be able to hold, whether it's point A or B, or even play towards the end. Save some of those ultimates, play the time game here. Is this where it ends? Is this where the Shock hold off the Titans? Or do we have to play another one? And maybe the Titans are in a position to take the series away then. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it right now, though. The Titans want to try and find a way to get to the point as safely as they can, essentially. Bumper pushes up a lot. You notice that Sinatra's down to half health here, so that does force him to play a little bit passively. Bumper's shield is very low. He had to step back there. The Shock did a good job of focusing down that barrier. Yeah, super shield management has been very good today. You see him come around the corner without the shield. Just trying to conserve as much of it as possible. Now he's going to be in trouble. Oh, so Minsu stunned up and knocked away. Rascal wasn't having any more of that shenanigans. Using the shield pass, but he's in trouble. Rascal could be caught inside the hotel. He does get out, but these two teams have now swapped places. The shock have to be the attackers now, despite being on defense to get the Titans off this point. And here's the rally coming out from both sides. Huxel and Rascal using them respectively. 84.7% for the Titans. The Shock must intervene as quickly as possible. And look at this, they're waiting out the Transcendent. Sinatra waiting for his turn to use the grab, but he might not have the opportunity. He's knocked down. There's the Graviton Surge, but Slime's the only one caught. Sinatra has to make the most of that one, and it works. He gets rid of the Lucio. The Shock are holding on for the time being, and Janu is going to be d mech here. d mech and Disgrace. They will keep the Unmech Diva alive for as long as they can and clean up Sobin Su, best possible result for San Francisco. Well, the Graviton Surge looks weird because it's only just Slime stuck inside of it, but the Shock doing a good job just calling ultimates. They know that Slime had the sound barrier online and you force him to make a decision. Does he use the sound barrier to just save himself and not get anybody else in the team or hold on to it? He decides to hold on to it. Slime is caught inside a Graviton Surge as well. He needs to touch the ground yeah. to use sound barrier if he was suspended above it. So he could have used his ultimate even if he'd wanted to. And now the Titans push again once more. Bumper gets a late bubble after he's taken a lot of damage. And now the Shock looking to try and make something work with that. Super also taking a ton. Look at Moth in the background. Both of them so low. And finally the first pick for the Titans. They found it. And they get another one. Bumper with a sizable Earth Shatter to crack this one open and get the Titans on the road. Four minutes and ten now on the clock. And they've accessed the payload. Nice, you trio. Just trying to get somebody to take him out. Does not want to be stuck in pilot even for too long. Twilight does it for him. Check out this, man. This is a, a tough one for the shock here. Moth in the background. Gonna be trying to get his sound barrier. Look at this. Stunned in midair. Huxel shut it down. And to make matters worse, Slime just got that sound barrier from the fight before. And that's the second time Huxel has done that this series. He got Moth out on Ilios. Uh, when we were over in Lighthouse, he was able to do the same exact thing. And that means the shock don't get to keep it for the next fight, ladies and gentlemen. They do not have that sound barrier anymore, they lose it. They still have a, a bunch of ultimates, like this Graviton Surge, and it's not just laid at some in suit. This is exactly what the Titans tried to do to Sinatra when they last played. Focus down the enemy's eye, but Sinatra puts himself on the high ground for a little too long, and now So Min Su can just do damage to the high ground from complete and utter comfort. This forces the transcend attack for the shock as they try to ward Janu away. So Min Su has to drop down now, but he still wants to fight. Looks like the rest of the Titans do too. Yeah, you see Super Shield getting so low. Oh, this could be nasty. Oh, So Min Su chases him down, Rascal. Caught out by Huxar. And the Titans need to be careful here. It needs to be measured aggression. But look how far forward they push, look how split the shock are, and that 
payload is about to get to that checkpoint. Yeah, you can see the checkpoint at the top of your screen. So Leave close to getting there. Oh, they just touched just in time. The shot kick this one contested here. They need to stay on the payload, but they've lost super already. Graviton Surge being thrown out from the Titans. It was just an insurance policy to keep the shock away. They still haven't quite got that checkpoint, but they will. They've been forced to spend ults on it, but they'll take it anyway. And now the road is clear, Matt. The blue box of victory from Solomon 2's perspective is where the Titans need to get to. It's almost the end of the map. They've got three minutes and 45 seconds to do it. He's so charged up as well, just laying down these alternate fires, these big grenades, right? Just does AOE damage here. Somebody bumper leading the way with a shatter, doesn't get anything. It'll be Transcendence that's answered on the other side. They try, oh, that's a boop! Oh, it's just bumper over the edge, but they'll take that. Huxel tried to help bumper set up a big combo there by bashing into super, but he couldn't get past the shield. That's why bumper's earth shadow just didn't look like very much. And I tell you what, the shark, you know, if Bumper's able to live there, you probably see a disengage from the Titans. The Titans have a good shot of taking it. Rascal and Violet both use their support ultimates at the same time. You layer the Transcendence in the rally on top of each other. The shock are in for the long haul now. They have to hold this position for a heck of a long time, but they did it on the Temple of Anubis. It is possible. But Sol Minsu wants to end this right now. You can see the deadly intent with how he steps forward here. And now that he knows that the Shocker all crowd off to the side, he has a dastardly plan. What if I use his Graviton Surge to make it impossible for them to contest the payload? He says he's going to let it go right now. Trigobin drops in that. Oh, again! Trigobin found two with his self destruct! <laughs> it's getting a bit ridiculous now, but again, it works! Oh, it was another shatter from Super. It looked like the shock were done, but you saw that shatter from Super. Two kills was all that Trigobin needed to get from the bomb because Rascal was there and still fighting. Super's got to be close to some kind of record for shatter stuns in a match. 17 already here on King's Row compared to Bumper's 10. He's been phenomenal this whole series. He really seems inspired today. Sometimes you've got to think outside the box to find him with the Titans match. They've got so many ultimates to use here. They still have a huge bank. The self disrupt doesn't find anything, though. True Hoban's able to get back to the safety of the Transcendent to be healed back up again. But here come the Titans. Rascal is knocked down. And you can see the rest of the shot trying to keep them away from Rascal. They keep him alive at least, but now he's a Transcendent Sinatra. He's going to be the first cap off the rank, the first target for the Titans, but still, Vancouver find nothing. Now they go for the sound barrier. They need to find a kill, Vancouver. They haven't and really got an advantage in this fight yet. And the shock just spreading out. Trigobin. Trigobin gets the mech, man. They need to do more than that. So is has got to be gunned down here. Rascal is put out on his own in front of the entirety of the Titans roster. Super, Violet, Sinatra, they have to stay alive. They knock Johnny to the ground, and now another Transcendence is going to oh. kill him. Oh, no! Violet off the edge during his Transcendence. It's a disaster for the shock. And the Titans. They will take this all the way. Three apiece now in this best, or well, first to four. And you can't ask for much more than that. Maximum Overwatch for you all today, ladies and gents. <laughs> and you can see the frustration on Sinatra's face. He wanted it to, to be done. But there's no way the strongest team from the regular play of stage one is going to let you do that so easily. On the other side of this, a decider map looms. Don't go anywhere. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile. High ground or low ground, T-Mobile has you covered.
We're already seeing quite a few big matchups in these playoffs so far, but none of them have really been very close at all. In fact, both of these teams got here without losing a map. That's changed completely. This is a first to four series, and both teams stand tied at three maps apiece. And when Vancouver's had their back against the wall, you know, losing some of these maps, they fire back with just incredible performances. And the shock, you know, every time we see, like, they're, they're just so, like, they feel like they're right on the edge. They feel like they have them on the ropes. And when Vancouver comes through with one of those performances, it's just tough to answer back. Have a look. Uh, with the way the series has gone, you would think that this one's going to be in favor of the shock. But our final map, potentially final map, we could have drawn here. It'd be very rare. But, uh, you know, Rialto. It is, it is possible to draw a map like Rialto. <laughs> yeah. uh, however, it is unlikely. Super unlikely. Uh, almost. Yeah, it's like incredibly, <laughs> it's really, really unlikely, ladies and gentlemen. This is an escort map, so once again, the attacker has to move the payload through the map. This is a really nasty part oh, for attackers yeah. to get past here. And usually, yeah, you know, the, these maps are you know, designed to be like 50-50, but usually the offense, it's a little bit more towards their side. But you see point A is right here on your screen. It's very difficult to get to this point. We see a lot of teams, you know, sometimes get held before there. They make it through, you kind of go through the canals, around to point B, and then finally at the end of the map, that would be where point C is. All to right. The map. Blizzard Arena, it all ends here on Rialto. Only one of these teams can be a stage one champion. A shock start on the attack. The Shock 3-0 on Rialto, the Titans 2-1. Uh, we casted a game they ended up losing on this map. Uh, but, you know, they've had the series pretty much in question when we've gone to Rialto in the past. That's so. right. When Vancouver get to Rialto, normally they have the series locked up. Notice the pilot is very low on that, on the low ground there. Slime's looking to do some damage here, but so far, this aggressive defense has looked okay for the Titans. They have lost two support players, though. That is going to force them, even if they win this fight, it will force the Titans to play a little bit more passively. Yes, Moth just trying to dance around the car. Oh, he always got to Twilight. Twilight. That's huge. One man army. Moth even gets away with the act. Now the Titans are a little bit. I think they're a bit sweaty after that one. Bumper will have to well, return to base. So they'll have to back up. And then also, Swine now has to wait as he spawned up a little bit ago. But he has to provide the speed boost here to Twilight to get him back in the action. Johnny. No one knows he's there. He's looking to just try and knock someone off the high ground or dive down on Violet. You see that Bumper tried to join him. They attempted to go for a pincer. Oh, Bumper gets stunned oh, as soon as he goes for the Primal Raid. So he can't do much for the next few seconds. And the Graviton no damage from the Titans has no follow-up damage. Yes, they managed to hold the shock together in one place, but they don't get rid of any of their players. And now Soimitsu is down. This is where the shock is done to build up a little bit more momentum. But Sinatra's Graviton Surge was negated by Janu. Self-destruct, though, from Janu. Doesn't follow up nearly as nicely. And although Sinatra's ultimate didn't quite work, he is still charged up, and now he is doing work in a great position to get Janu out of his mech. And the Shock will win this fight. Now they need to get the Titans off the point. Huxar, he wasn't going anywhere as Super brought the hammer down. And now it's kind of like Ilios, uh, where Bumper potentially has to make a move here to switch off of the Winston and go to Reinhardt, which he does. Fortunate here for the Vancouver Titans is Super had just used his Earth Shatter, so not going to have any type of advantage in building that ultimate. You leave Shoyobin here on the cart to start moving the payload. As the Shock want to push up, they know they're so far ahead in terms of Graviton Surge ult charge. That Sinatra's going to have a second one it's, here. It's crazy how quickly he accrued that. But when you are playing most of the fight at 100 charge... Oh, this is cute. Sinatra baits the Titans into a corner. Can they get a kill? You bet they can! Super with three! And the San Francisco Shock just used a very clever position to circumvent the most difficult part of the map for attackers to play around. This corner is treacherous, and the Shock have bypassed it. And because Vancouver support ultimates, they work on that line of sight. So when the players are around the corner, if you were to use a sound barrier, it doesn't connect with the players on the opposite side. So you may have only connected with like half of your team there. That's why you don't see them use any. Well, man, the Vancouver Titans, they're mad. But Solomon still, still doesn't have another Graviton Surge. But the, the Titans are still pushing forward with whatever they have, though. And Chuck Hopin is trying to survey. Oh, That's Super again! Movement. From the backside, big Earth Shatter from Super. Is there follow up? Oh, That's a hole in one! So much so he's taken down. He still didn't have his Graviton. Now, with one player less, the Titans should definitely be starting to stress a little bit more now. Bumper cannot come forward with Violet using the Transcendence here, and Huxel may have overextended himself. Jano is low now. Sinatra is ready to rumble, and he's charged up, and he gets yet another Graviton search. How many is this guy going to get? He pushes now into a Graviton from the side of the Titans. 
The Shock have almost got this checkpoint now. Scant meters remain. And there it is, they got it. And this is so good for the Shock. As this is such a hard map to finish. We rarely see teams finishing. It's like around 39%. They finish the map. It's the Shock have steamrolled through the first two points. About four minutes left in the time bank. They're in a very good spot here. You do have ultimates coming online here, though, for the Vancouver Titans. They're going to have Earth Shatter, big transcendence here for Twilight. They have the ultimate advantage coming into the next one. The Titans do what they know best, and that's just to push forward. Again, getting some control, at least over the payload, so the Shock have to be a little bit more careful as they approach. The Shock do need to walk up uh, through a tunnel. Either this one here on the right or the other one. So now they're trying to take the Titans by surprise. They forced themselves through quite a narrow aperture here. And they get caught in the Graviton Surge pretty much straight away now. Is there a no charge? Follow. Bumper misses the charge! He was trying to find a kill, but then he goes for the shot. Oh, ah, shatter. see, he's played Knifey Spoony before. Very cheeky. It's always as if Bumper, like, fakes a charge. <laughs> the rest of the shock just don't respect that he's behind him, and then he shatters. It was a huge shatter. That it is also with like four players. That is how Super led the shock to victory in a tiebreaker <laughs> match over the, the, the Soul Dynasty. Right? To get into the playoffs or to get this seeding. So enthusiasm curbed on yeah, the side as, of the shock. As some ultimates didn't need to be used there for the Titans. The shot now build up a little bit of an ultimate war chest of their own. War chest. So, uh, Sinatra, you think he'll get close to Scraviton Surge rather quickly with how fast he charges them up. I mean, Again, easy come, easy go sometimes, but Sinatra, you do see him fire them off rather frivolously on occasion. But right now, the Shock definitely need a good grab. Or a shatter, as that may be. And Super has hit a colossal number of those so far. Easier said than done when Bumper is trying to protect his team. You see Bumper, though, he just keeps holding the shield up. And Dead. Sinatra works it down. But that, that forces the Vancouver Titans to have to back up. Where Super, we see sometimes he pushes up without the shield up. And this is, dare I quote it, free real estate for the Shock. They're able to force the Titans away just by sort of snarling in their general direction. But both teams have built up to quite a large bank of ultimates. Johnny, you better be careful, son. You're ready to go down. He's forced to use the self-destruct prematurely to even get back into his mechs. And there it is. The Graviton Surge is fired off by the San Francisco Shock. Was it a waste? We'll have to find out. They will push ahead. Twilight and Violet both use this and the other ultimates of both teams have kept shields. But Bumper is looking worse for wear right now. And the Shock no one. They try and push him, but no one comes at the king. He gets taken down, but it slows up the shock a little bit. It allows Twilight to find Sinatra. Very important play. He's been removed from either side, but that's a pick and a half. Violet finding Twilight there. The shock really needed that one, and now we're into the final moments here. Huxel up in that right hand corner. Super trying to keep him out of position, and now it's time for the Titans. Can they stand and deliver? Or will they be oh. down? Bumper goes down without a word, without a whisper. It was just a whimper. Rascal caught inside the Graviton Surge when Moth gets the finish on Zomitsu. Slime trying to stay here on the payload, but Huxel has pushed up into the statue. A fitting end for the Lucio, who often likes to try and get up high on those skates. And now Twilight is forced to use the Transcendence as well. He needs to keep his team in this game, but Super is bubbled up and ready to go. And again, Bumper, again and again and again. He finds his opposite number on the right heart. Twilight Transcendence is over, and Zomitsu is caught in a grab. An attempt at the Doomfist now from Huxel. He's known for that character, but this is not the time to use it. He goes down awfully fast and Janu is desuited. The shock finished Rialto and they've begun to pave their way towards victory. Just a few steps left for them here and that attack has set them up for it Matt. The shock finished the map with a minute to go. We'll be back with Vancouver's attack after this.
The Vancouver Titans swaggered straight into the front door of the Overwatch League this year, and they backed it up, not losing a game throughout Stage 1, but now, in the final moments of this Stage 1 final, they are at the mercy of the San Francisco Shock's defence. The Shock finished the map, Matthew, and have a minute in their time bank. This is not overly common. It is rare for yes. teams to finish Rialto, let alone with time to spare. And on the defense here for the Shock, Super will be running Reinhardt instead of Winston. So you saw Bumper on the other side run. The Winston, a little bit more mobility. Going to be opting for that straight Reinhardt composition. Remember, the Titans, though, they are still in a great spot to take this all the way here. They've just started on the attack. If they get through these first couple of checkpoints relatively fast, it'll be the Shock who starts sweating. Yeah, nothing crazy about the composition for the Titans. They haven't really switched up their characters. Bumper wants to push around a corner here. Normally teams try and bait with part of aggression, but they just go straight for it. Eye on the prize for the Titans. And then they, they, they net themselves. Trichota being desuited and taken down. Plus Sinatra. Killing his eye right at the start of a round is huge. And that's what the Titans did well in the first series between these two. They saw where Sinatra was. They beeline towards him. They were able to take him out. So when Sinatra plays a very aggressive playstyle, you're able to do that. This is going to be basically one more fight to decide point A. Yeah, Shock already put in a compromising position early on this attack. Rascal. Just taking five there. You notice he was a little low on health. Had to back out. The Shock have to play together right now, but they're a little split. And the Titans look like they're trying to make the most of that. They get Troy Hogan once again. Violet's going to have to go for a transcendence in just a moment. And here he comes, zooming straight on in with that extra healing. But during this, the, the Shock need to find kills on the Titans, and they've just not done that. Super though, solid shatter, still no kill as a result. The Vancouver Titans look indomitable right now, and the Shock look like they're playing with pool noodles. Yes, the Shock put up really no defense there on point A. Vancouver just steamrolls through them. Four minutes and 50 in the time bank to get from A to B. So, this one looks like Vancouver, when they were on, when they were the aggressive team, Mish, they look so strong. It's when Super and the San Francisco Shock, they get aggressive and push them back. That's when Vancouver starts to look beatable. Definitely looks like Vancouver are fed up now with the, the fun and games. Bumper got knocked down to the low ground there. Perhaps that was intentional, but either way, there was no one from the Shock to be made susceptible to that Earth Shadow. Super Shield is low, though, and he needs to be careful. Bumper tried to go in for a charge, but Moth had perfect timing on that sound barrier. It may not be enough still to keep Super alive, though, and it is. And Sinatra also gets caught out there. This is all going wrong for the Shock, Matt. Everything going in favor of the Titans now. And look at how they use this momentum. Sails full of wind and full steam ahead. Yeah, I mean, the Shock don't put up a really good fight here. Potentially one more fight. They're actually going to give this up as Choyomin gets d -max. I don't think I've Above seen... Above five minutes. Have you seen a Rialto so fast this stage? No. If I, I have, they've been rare. The Shock need to find that defense. Just any stop. Behind. Any stop in general. But Matt, they've got hardly anything to work with in terms of those ultimates. The Titans just keep cascading from one ultimate to another. Goodbye. Cutting fights through with a the strike. The back of the Titans are out of control. And the Shock, bewildered and stunned. The payload careening towards the end of the map. And the Vancouver Titans have all the time in the world. They can stop off for a cup of tea. And, and the record on this map is to complete it with having three minutes and 33 seconds in the time bank. So just when they needed it most, the Vancouver Titans now on a record trajectory to finish this map. The Shock have to find a stop, and it looks like it's not to be. Rascal is pinned at the start of this fight. Trichobin and Sinatra both knocked down. That's the perfect shatter from Bumper, considering the Super Fire is back. He keeps his team alive by with a strong shatter of his own, but it may not be enough. Moth could be caught out here trying to stay alive, and he is. Oh, my Lord! <laughs> I've never seen this map finish so fast. Just when it looks like the Shock have pushed the Titans all the way, they dig deeper and find something special that we'd never seen before. That was a haymaker of a round. I so, you know, the Shock, they're so excited to finish the map with a minute in the time bank. Vancouver's like, watch this. They finished the map with four minutes and 26 seconds, almost a minute faster than the previous record. They want to rewire yelling, of course. Uh, the shot is lost right now. I mean, again, you're young, you're momentum based. How much of a blow does your mentality take where you actually feel good about how fast you finish the map and then the Titans turn up and make you look like fools? You need to take a look at this 
Johnny self-destruct, launches it into the back. And this is opportunistic, by the way. This is not... Oh, the hack is done. Yeah, it's not part of a combo necessarily, but Huxel identifies, if I shield bash into Super right now and, and knock him down, we can actually get, get some value off of Johnny's self-destruct there. So that was very much on the fly from the Titans. Wasn't heavily premeditated, but it works out. And now, the shock, it's their, it's their turn to find something truly well, special to mirror what we saw from the Titans, but they only have one minute. One minute on this map. The composition doesn't really elicit any feelings of excitement from me personally. It's about the same as what we've always seen from them. And, and that push from Vancouver is just unreal. Back against the wall, undefeated stage on the line, championship moment in a map that's very strong for the defenders. They, find another they level. break a record by a minute. It's astonishing. That is absolutely astonishing. Three minutes and 33 seconds on this map. And look at them, they look they open so confident. Imperious almost. Jardin does get demacked as well. The Shock may have an opening here. At least it's going to be tough for the Titans to mitigate oncoming damage, but there's 20 seconds left. The Shock need to get as far as they can with this little amount of time. But so far, that payload is not moving. Bumper is keeping it contested by walking up and around the corner. And now it's time. The Titans look like they want to close the teeth and the trap on the Shock and finish this one here. Three seconds remain of Vancouver. Looks strong coming into this fight. This is where it begins. Both Violet and Twilight are gonna have transcendences, but neither team really is, is, I guess, incentivized to go too aggressive here. But eventually the fight will begin. And Bumper, if anyone else, will try to start it off there. Super just ate a fire strike that went through his shield. He needs to be careful. Graviton Surge now gets aimed at the San Francisco Shock. They go for a desperate transcendent. Violet trying to keep his team alive. And the sound barrier as well. Everything for the Shock just to stay in this one. Twilight goes down. Super charges him up against the wall. That's what the Shock are looking for here. But Janu's mech getting taken down by the self-destruct. The Shock may have found their opening. Rascal is down, but the Shock is still fighting. And Janu's removed. Bumper's down. The Shock get over the first hurdle map, but it's not over yet. And because we're in overtime of the entire map, they won't get more time when they take checkpoint A. They're going to remain in overtime for the rest of this push. So they need to keep at least one player on the cart to keep overtime triggered. They do not even have point A back. You have to have Moth go back to the spawn, escort Rascal back. The Titan's going to get another fight. And if they leave the payload, that bar will quickly dwindle down. The longer they've been on in overtime, the quicker the bar dwindles. Basically, the shot cannot leave the payload for any reason right now. They're forced to fight here. Super pushes ahead. Shatter comes in, doesn't find anyone. Nor does the self-destruct, though. Coming in for the Titans, at least. But Violet goes down early. Sinatra's next. Is this the final stand from the Shock? They get ground down. Super's missing. The Shock are down to just three players. Rascal now missing. And Smoth has to keep things going, but he can't. It's just too much for him. And that is where the San Francisco Shock's attack journey ends. Now we know what the Titans need to do. It's simple. Just get further than the Shock did there, and they have all the time to do it. We may be looking at our stage champion crown in just a second. Don't go anywhere.
Self-doubt is not a trait that either of these two teams displayed at all through stage one. But you can't argue with the facts. The Vancouver Titans have four minutes and 26 seconds, a heck of a lot of time to get just only a portion of the way through the map, Matt. It is close, that checkpoint. They basically just have to make it to checkpoint A. We do see teams get held here on Rialto, though, before this checkpoint. The Shock pretty much have two fights to do it. If they lose the first fight, they kind of have a, a fight underneath the tunnel by the choke. It'll be late though. The Shock don't want to take an early fight here. They want to make their last stand by the statue. And the Vancouver Titans, they have the leisure, the luxury of taking it slow. And let's see how they decide to play this. So Su now up on the high ground. We do see teams trying to you know, get the Zarya up on the high ground, get them charged, just put some pressure down. Interesting for the shot. They up the rotate around underneath. Dangerous. They didn't expect this though. Buffer wants to fight. He likes fighting in close quarters, but Super's able to repel him. The Shock have a player advantage here, and they're not getting ahead of themselves, but they need to get on the payload. That one's still moving right now. The Shock have to round back. Unfortunately for them, they do. Bumper will rejoin the Titans very quickly, and then it will be another 6v6. The Shock cannot afford to lose. And I wonder if the Shock have an idea that Bumper has to shatter. Oh, maybe not. Bumper goes for the shatter. Rascal was knocked down, but a quick sound barrier is going to keep everyone in the Shock pretty much immune from dying for that period of time. They need to continue this fight, though, and Violet has a transcendent that he's safe for just this moment. Sinatra also has a Graviton Surge. And where the payload is, you're not going to get this second fight I was talking about. This is going to be a one-fight territory. You can see Soman Su's screen. No much The box of victory right there. The San Francisco Shock have to go now. Super sees the payload. This is the checkpoint right here. That box. No! Bump is down! The Shock were trying to hang on, but the Titans look too good right now. Uh -oh. Take down Titan. Both Lucios are missing, and Soman Su also removed by Trick Hoven. South is trying to throw it in. Look at that shatter from Bumper. It's huge. He tries to go for the finish and he gets Sinatra. Find a response back on towards Haxal and Twilight. He's trying to keep it alive on the oh, payload. No, oh, they're going to hold. He comes back. He redeems himself by pooping Bumper off into the river. And there's no gondola big enough to fit that man in it. And somehow the shock stay in the fight. And, and this gets dangerous though for Vancouver because you use a lot of ultimates in that fight. You'll come back, you'll have sound barrier and transcendence. If you lose, if you use both of them and lose the fight, you're in a lot of trouble. That that four minutes goes down pretty quick. It looked like it was over after they lost Moth. The shock are too greedy for that, but Super, he has to be careful. He's caught out of position. He's down at the first pick, and now the rest would follow. Bumpy hits a huge ass shatter, and the Vancouver Titans stand on the precipice. They say the North never forgets, and now the North will never be forgotten. And the Vancouver Titans take what was promised to them. But they knew that was theirs alone. They will be the Vancouver Titans, your stage one champions. No stranger to victory and championships for this team, but this man, this is just something special. Something a, a little different. It's an epic match. I mean, the Shock played Vancouver better than anyone we've seen all stage. But it's a huge statement win for the Titans. They come in to the Overwatch League confident champions back in Korea. They come in as an expansion team, newcomers to the Overwatch League, and take our stage one. And you have to say, the Vancouver Titans, they got what they came for. And I'd be very pleased about that one. It has been an incredible match between these two rosters. Bumper, he showed us his, his fallibility towards the end of this series. The risky play the Titans go for, but they stuck to their guns. It worked out for them, and we couldn't be happier. It's been an incredible stage thus far, but there's more to come. Our fans over on Twitch will be able to join us for the post-show, twitch.tv forward slash Overwatch League. It's been a pleasure to have you all with us. For myself, Mitch Lazy, Matt Morello, we'll see you in the post-show.